Uh, we lie. Uh, we lie. Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some oxygen not included. Uh, in our first episode, we got about this far. Haven't found any geysers yet. Um, but we've got plenty of food. Uh, we have, what, 8, 9, 10, 11 dupes. Plenty of beds. We got, uh, the washroom working. We got recycling of polluted water that does not involve spewing it back into the system with lots of germs. Although, uh, for the moment it's a little bit late for that. Can I not arrange for this stuff to be cleaned? Um, I know I can... So this is already marked to be disinfected, but no one's doing it. Um, I don't know about the water, though. How I can go about cleaning that. Uh, if we just wait enough cycles without adding more germs to it, is it going to get less germy, or no? Surprisingly, we haven't had any issue with slime coming up the, uh... The ladder so far, so there's that at least. Um, I think I'll leave that one there. We also probably want to be able to pick up the stuff down here. I hope the dupes aren't going to get sick by momentarily going in polluted water. That might be a problem actually. We're also pretty far from any oxygen. Looks like just here it's actually enough for the dupe to catch his breath, but... Um, is it realistic to try and get Atmo suits at this point? I think we already researched it, but we probably need some refined metals or something. Let's see, where would it be under stations? Atmos suit, refined metal, 100 kilograms. Okay, so we need a checkpoint, a dock, and a forge at minimum, I would imagine. Um, how do we even get refined metals? I remember there's a, like, a crappy processor for it that, uh, um, that causes us to lose a bunch of resources, and then there's a more complicated one. Um, I think both of them, but especially the latter one, produces an enormous amount of heat. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. The Rock Crusher. Inefficiently produces refined metals from raw resources. And then we've got... Uh, it's definitely going to require this one. Here it is. Smelting. Metal refinery produces refined metals from metal ore. Significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it. Hmm. So we kind of need a coolant loop before we do that. Which means we need to do more exploring. Um, we've got 14.4 tons of copper. That seems like a lot. Am I going to be screwing myself in the long run if I use the inefficient... Uh, metal refining, or is that going to be okay, actually? So many questions. Hatch a new critter. Oh, cool. I didn't know we did that. 
Uh, can we tell which one? How old are they? 98 out of 100. Oh no. Egon die. Uh, this one's 52 cycles, 96, 59, 56. Uh, where's the baby? Oh, is this it? Why is it up here? Um, alright then. What else should we be doing before we speed up time? Long commutes? Not much I can do about that. New printables are available... We still need a builder, like a proper builder, and we don't have one being offered. Uh, we could take some hatchling eggs. Unless there's anything particularly attractive in one of these three. We've got germ resistance, creativity, cannot do attacking, supplying cooking. It's not too great right now. Doctoring, ranching, digging. We've got a digger still. Um, but the downsides aren't bad or anything. Hmm. How picky should I be with duplicants at this stage? I think we've got more than enough hands, almost. Uh, Kitchen Menace? What? This, <laughs> this duplicant could probably figure out a way to burn the ice cream. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it wouldn't hurt to have, like, a couple of doctors just in case. And they have some off skills as well. We've got three dupes with skills to be added. Uh, Morpheus is all good on farming. I'm thinking... Well, I guess you're going to get all the strength as well. That's a lot of carrying capacity. Um... And what about... is it athletics? Science, science, athletics, athletics, strength goes from here, okay.
Are you muted? Yes, I am. Thank you, Sifa Cat. Oh, dear. I seem to be worse for that uh, when I'm getting into a new game on stream. Anyway, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thank you, Sifa Cat. Let's start with digging for you. And then it was Ari, Bubbles, uh, Morpheus, and Meep. I gotta check the skills. I mean, priorities. Meep. Uh, seems good. I was like, T-Hacks is usually a chatty stream, indeed. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, we got Ari. Seems good. And... Uh, Morpheus and Bubbles. Tidying, farming. That seems fine. And then Bubbles. Uh... We don't have enough priority levels. Or well, unless I go down on these ones, I guess. Whoops. Uh, priorities. There we go. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Him suffocating oxygen is not included, indeed. Alright, let's continue. Uh, I guess I should get rid of... Ooh. Okay, first of all... What is going on here? No power? Uh-oh. Wait. Yeah, no. Uh-oh. Um, 90% and 70%, please. N priority 9, that is. Actually, I don't think that's the thing. Carbon monoxide was what I was thinking about. I see. Alright, we really need to get this polluted water moving. I want to get rid of these old bathrooms here. So, how much does this process? 39 grams per second. That seems like not enough. Hmm... Maybe I'll just have to put up with the germs until I can find a better solution. We're not making like 12 of these, that's not going to happen. Yeah, this isn't even remotely close um, to consuming the polluted water fast enough. Oh, wait, it is moving. Hmm. If we can just keep this thing running... Then maybe we can actually empty this. How much water does this actually produce? Polluted water. Not as much as I would have thought. How much is in one... 10 kilograms per pipe? Okay, so... 40 grams per second. How, how many seconds in a cycle? Uh, it doesn't really say. Hmm... Also, despite the airlock, we're getting polluted water on the other side of this. Um, I think we need to turn this into a wall and this into the airlock. Oh, wait. Uh, we've got... We've got a bunch of... Natural gas in here. It's gonna be a mess no matter what I do. Can we mop this up? In fact, mop all of this up? 
Oh my goodness, what happened here? What? What was... Wait, what? Did that pipe empty or something? How did that happen? Okay. So we're going to move this. Off this. This is going to go up here. And then when we go through the door, we're not going to let the liquid out. Now, what do we do with all of this um, bottled, polluted water, though? I can't just... Oh, can I? Uh, bottle emptier? Empties bottled liquids back into the world. Oh, does that just dump it down here? Uh, that's okay, actually. Let's do that. We've got a filtration system, so polluted water in here doesn't actually matter. Uh, it's only the germs that are a, a problem, but I can't do anything about them yet. And... Judging by... All of this... Hmm... I think we are going to have to connect these up. Alright, so we're going to have the whole colony do a cleaning day, and we'll go from there. Alright. Picking this stuff up. Paku fillet. Delicious. Um... We're not getting any closer to a geyser, as far as I can tell. Don't know which way I should be heading to find one. It's getting hotter down this way. Uh, it's hotter up this way as well. What is this? Neutronium. Uh, this is magic indestructible blocks. And I believe that means there's a geyser behind this. You can mop up that pee in the bottom of your water source. Uh, it's already going to be filtered out. Um, we've got a liquid filter here, so the pump takes fluid in, uh, goes to our filter, polluted water goes this way and gets dealt with. 
and then gets cycled back into the system as clean water. Um, the clean water comes out here. It's kind of hard to see at this point, there's too many pipes, um, but only the clean water comes up this way. Have you tried to mop it up though? Small amounts you can. What, all the way down here? I don't think so. Um, but this stuff we can, but we don't need to. It's going to keep producing it, but that's what this pump is for. Oh, that is weird. That is so weird that they can do that. What the hell? I think that's going to look the same in a minute regardless, but uh, we can do that. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> yeah. Now how do I get them to disinfect spray the entire water supply? Oh, we're so full with the storage. Chlorine, I guess. Is that actually a thing? If I put chlorine into the water, will it clean the germs? I think I saw chlorine gas somewhere, but I don't know how how we would liquefy it. Do I do I make it colder? Is that how that works? Uh, anyway, let's keep digging straight up to find our, uh, geyser? I should probably not just dig straight up like that, right? Uh, maybe build an airlock first? So... Over this way, and manual airlock. If you put chlorine above the water, it'll kill the germs. Um, but then I need a whole separate area to make this happen, right? Because we need to not have the dupes going where there's chlorine, surely. Unbreathable gas. Is it just that it's unbreathable? Is that all I have to worry about? Or is it gonna, like, kill them or something? Uh... Chlorine... Gas. Bunch of stats. Germ-killing element in a gaseous state. Unbreathable... It seems like... no. Name in base? Uh, I can't really do that in Oni. West, dude. I can give you a refund. Hold... They'll be fine, they'll hold their breath, they are way more hardy than they should be. Not my fault. You had it live? Well, excuse me. Uh, let me fix that right now, since you insist on forcing the issue. Let's see. Channel... Viewer rewards... Uh, this one? Both words for someone who hasn't been ref... Bold words. <laughs> for someone who hasn't been refunded yet. Yeah. Uh, where's the... Where's the list? Um, it's always so hard to find. Requests queue. There we go. Name and base. Rejected. Alright. Back to the game. Now then. 
Uh, what were we doing? We were thinking about pumping chlorine in here. Um, I guess if I do that, I need to seal this place off. Without a proper airlock system and a gas pump to pump out of it, it's going to leak into the main base. Um... Does the Draco need the chlorine air? Doesn't look like it. So I could just do a little airlock, dig through here, uh, make a gas intake. And pump the chlorine into here, I guess. You always want a bottom water well to hold water that randomly falls down into your base, I suppose. Um, so I'm expecting this to be a vent. I don't know what else could be on four neutronium tiles. It might be a bit awkward to take advantage of it. But we'll see. In fact, if I'm expecting it to spit out like hot steam or something and end up with fluid, maybe we should have it at the bottom of a little uh, well kind of thing. Why is there so much CO2 up here? Oh wow, why do we have so little air? Uh oh. Uh, why is this not what You're joking. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, priority a million, please. Anyone? Bueller? Alright. And once more with feeling. No? There we go. What's the priority button? P. That's not very reachable. Okay. Uh, hopefully that should turn things around pretty quickly. We just went from three to five oxygen diffusers. Um, they are failing to produce for max gas pressure though, so... Is this enough or do we need to like pump the air around? I could always just move some of them and run wires all the way up here. Uh, that might be... That's probably a lot more efficient. Yeah, I think I probably should do that. Uh, let me copy this. Right about here. And then three. And one up here, I guess. That's a lot of CO2 they're sleeping in. We really need to start deleting carbon dioxide. We do have a carbon skimmer or two in here. Um, but maybe I should have one further down. Wait, that's wrong. Just build 
add another standard room, because why not? Priority low. Are you playing with the spaced out expansion? Uh, no, I don't have it yet. Velka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've never gone far enough, I imagine, to make the space out a spaced out expansion uh, relevant just yet. Dupe skills. We've got a few actually. Um, let's see. Not the ones I was looking for. Rowan, critter ranching, fantastic. Um, Beldak. Improved strength, I guess. What are you good at? Astronomy. You're our best chef and researcher. What a combination. Is strength even going to do anything? I mean, it's going to be neutral morale-wise, but... Maybe we should head towards rocket piloting for you? Uh, at the moment, that would be not quite enough morale to support it if we ended up getting there without improving things. But, I mean, since you're already here, this seems like the obvious cause. Sure, why not? I have no morale and no ethics? Uh-oh. Uh, what else? I want to do the skills before I pick someone. Uh, we can do mechatronics engineering. We need someone to have this to build any conveyor belts. Uh, other than that, this person can also grill. Cuisine is already at 4 before they even go plus 2. And what's this one? Plus 2 as well. Gonna end up being a better cook. I think we can go for this first. Let's give you the mechatronics engineering hat. How fancy. Oh, this goes even further. Wow. Okay. And then let's look at our print. I don't really care about a shine bug. Uh, what have we got? Plus 15 strength, maximum tidying. Carrying capacity and cleaning speed. If you also had movement speed, maybe. Decreased husbandry, don't care. Requires light to sleep. So the opposite of everyone else. Uh, and also eats more, so that's a that's a hard no. Supplying. Um, otherwise we've got building. This is probably our best builder now. Turner is. Snores loudly? No. They're both loud sleepers. Get a pizza with third kind of sauce? Third kind of sauce. Okay. Um, do we want a, another builder that badly? I mean, we get a chance to print another duplicate pretty often. We can always... We can always wait for more. I think we should be more picky at this stage. So, all of these negative traits are too... Too bad. Let's ignore them for now. Alright, we got our oxygen coming up here. Um, 
we can definitely get rid of some of these ones. They're not operating at full speed anyway, because this area is already saturated with oxygen. Um, and I was going to put this here. I did not mean to do that. Holy crap. Should have been more careful about the way I selected things with deconstruction there. Best pizza I've eaten had a cream sauce, chicken, broccoli, and garlic. Mm. Oh, I was gonna empty the polluted water here. And let's get rid of all of it. Okay. Copy the settings. Go. Oh, they built it already. Nice. Can I not quite do this? Uh, how can I best make room for all this? This is probably all we need, right? We'll soon find out. Wraith halted. How much wood have we got? Uh, and why... Why do we now see resources displayed like this, where before I had to go see all? I guess it's when things change that it shows it here. Lumber. There we go. We've got 1,500 units. That doesn't sound like a lot. How are our mushrooms doing? Oh, right, I haven't copied this here yet. But they're doing pretty well. As it turns out. This stuff. And really, I just want to see what kind of guys that we have right now. Go, Ben, we go. I need some suits, but for that I need refined metal, and for that I need coolant. What is this? Water weed too wet. Sounds right. Um, can we sweep this stuff? Mayhaps. There's a lot of crap that needs to be swept up. our fluids. Looking pretty good, actually. Looking very good, actually.
All right, so we're gonna try pumping this chlorine gas in. Um, I guess step one, let's work back from our conclusion here. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, I believe we need this thing for uh, for the coolant loop in a bit. Rock Crusher is the one that I want to skip if I can help it, because we're basically deleting copper with this. Kiln makes ceramics and a lot of heat. What was I looking for? Uh, gas. So outputting gas is easy, we just need a vent. Um, why don't we put it here, I guess? Or even here? Actually, depending on if the chlorine gas is heavier or lighter than air, oxygen... What? No, I want the properties of oxygen. The gas. Uh, how about this? 1.5 kilograms in one tile? Very breathable. 1.6? Okay, how much? Uh, it would appear chlorine is lighter than air. So we should expect it to go up, right? But carbon dioxide, we've got only 634 grams here. So that theory doesn't hold. Uh, I don't know whether the chlorine is going to go up or down. Chlorine gas. Well, we're just going to pump it in here and see what happens. Because why not? Uh, let's get an airlock right about here. Dig this way. We'll put a gas vent. Put the gas vent down here, just in case it is heavier than air. We can keep it down here where the dupes don't go most of the time. And if it's lighter than air, well, it's just going to have to go up there. Actually, if it is lighter than air, won't we end up with air down here? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so we need gas pipe. Gas pump. We will need to run power all the way down here. And how much is on this network? 240, uh, 360, uh, 580 plus 120, 600. Plus, okay, theoretically this can go over a thousand already. Oh, there it is, potential load, 1440. In practice it doesn't, but maybe we shouldn't add any more to this? I could just put a little baby generator down here. That might make more sense. But then someone's gonna have to someone's gonna have to come down here and run that thing where there's no oxygen. Uh so no. 
actually. Alright, how do I... There we go. We are going to have the gas pump there. And come to think of it, this uh, there's not really any oxygen in here already. So we're asking people to run this manual generator where they don't have any air to breathe. Let's maybe not do that. And we'll connect this up like so. Also, why don't we add some decor where they're going to have to do their running. Where even do I find furniture? Here we go. And maybe another one. Maybe cancel this. Wire down here, and this wire spaghetti all the way down here. It needs a battery, doesn't it? Uh, this is fine. Alright, that'll be enough for our experiment anyway. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, I noticed. Okay, never mind. That's fine. What do we have here? Granite? That's not what I'm trying to see, though. Sounds spooky. Um, we can probably lower the priority on this stuff for now. one done as soon as possible, though. Okay. And then we can get rid of this one. What's the problem? No power? Oh, right. We just haven't built the wires yet. Uh, we got plenty of briar seeds. M Mirth leaf. Can I not see the stats of the plant before I plant it without going to another screen? doesn't actually say the decor value here. That's a bit surprising. Alright, fine. We're gonna plant it. Let's just see what this looks like. And this one can be a briar. We've got like eight more briar seeds, so why don't we liven up This part. What kind of food do we have? Meat. 
That's rather unspecific. Meat cooked from a very dead critter here. Very dead critter yum. Morale minus one. Uh, okay. Haku fillet plus four. Immuno booster. We should probably crank out some of these vitamins. How about this for a doctor's area? Um, but where's the cooker? You can make berry sludge, tofu, lice loaf, mush bar with this. Okay. Duplicate skills, Marie, exosuit training. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Meep, Doctor, and Otto, Best Farmer. Easy enough. Okay. Can they not reach this, or do I just have to bump up the priority a little bit? Looks like they can reach it. Got a few of them digging. No one's idle. I'm pretty sure I don't have this many people prioritizing digging, but here we are. Alright, what's hidden behind the neutronium? A water geyser. Nine kilograms per second. Uh, skill required operation. We need a scientist, I think, to analyze it. Well, that is not steam, but it is infinite water. So, that's cool. We can't use that for power or anything, though. Water weed too wet. Okay. Should probably swap out this door for a couple of blocks already. On second thought, it allows airflow. Let's just leave it as it is. And did we get this built? Yeah, we did. Priority 9. Battery charge. Why is no one running here? Decor plus 25, radius 4, plus 25, radius 4. So it's basically the same plant. Except this thing also lives in chlorine and hydrogen. And at a higher temperature. Okay. Um, can we not keep this powered? Oh, is it because I told everyone to clean and stuff? Is that still going on? Seems like it. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, let's get this thing analyzed. And let's print the best construction jeep. Plus three. Decreased medicine. Increased germ resistance. Uh, Quinn is actually perfect. Uh, yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. Also does some machine oper... Interests machine... Oh, that's decreased medicine. Okay, cool. Anyway, I don't think there's much point looking at these. Cannot dig, night owl, doctoring, cooking, supplying. It's fine, but not what we're looking for. Husbandry, supplying. Flatulent, get out of here. All right, Quinn it is. And I need to give her some priorities. Uh, operating, building, that's pretty much it. I want everyone doing tidying as a priority off job. And same goes for supplying story. Okay. Straight to the generator. Fantastic. Someone analyzing this yet? Nope. Probably not until we get these cleaning jobs done. Uh, I think we can probably get rid of the old outhouses now. Not have to disinfect them all day long. Should probably move the compost. Don't know where I should put it though. Probably close to the farms. But there isn't really room. Uh, how about down here? Did you really just stop 90% of the way through picking that up? Okay. Try again. There we go. Why can't I place this? What? Okay, that was weird. And deconstruct. He's got skills. Quinn, uh, building, absolutely. Very good. Bean. I guess we're going doctor. Fantastic. Can I not deconstruct this? Oh, it is already marked with deconstruction, I just can't see it. Washroom morale plus two. Flush toilet, plumbed wash station, no outhouses, no machinery, up to 64 tiles. Um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult 
to analyze this water geyser when it's underwater. Too much liquid. Not on the floor, too much liquid. Okay. Doesn't always work. We're slowly getting towards the end of cleaning up all of this mess. Are you producing oxygen? Oh, I was going to say yes. 6% breathability, apparently not. Uh, we need to change our priorities right now. Tidying, uh, get out of here. Can I change it for everyone? No. Let's just put all these neutral, and then we'll rethink it um, once we've got this done. Priority 9? Absolutely. In fact, top priority. Oh, and this one is on the same circuit. Priority 9. Okay. Oxygen is pumping. Let's go priority nine for this one. Price is averted. Master Neko, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for saving the colony. I think, uh, next print cycle, I actually will look for a hauler. Like, just a hauler. Add a... Uh, you're our first plumber. Seeds in here. Fantastic. No one's going to analyze this. The base just seemed a little void of blue gas. Yeah. Just a little bit. You can see it quite clearly making its way around now. So who is going to do tidying as a priority? Uh, you are our farmer. I want you to do that first. Add a supplying, storing, tidying. Yeah, you can prioritize tidying, that's fine. Um, what do we have here with bean doctoring? Doctoring is a reactive skill, right? I think we should set that as a higher priority than research. 
and then operating farming, supplying, and so on, whatever. Uh, who else? Feldak, not really. You've got... Oh, this is fine. Whiskers, supplying, storing, tidying first. Wait, no. I want you to do operating first. And these three or four secondary. Actually, cooking last. You're not that good of a cook yet. Uh, what else? Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we can harvest this now. guys ago burr periodically erupts with hot water 95 degrees oh so it's almost steam oh that means it's going to be generating heat oh cool i thought the one positive from this if it's not going to produce steam is uh we can use it without heating up the base, but apparently not. Uh, we have found a cold biome, though. Let's see if we can't make our way over there. Eventually. There's no reason not to just dig straight up into it, right? Right. I uh, should probably bump up the priorities on this again. We've actually got power waiting to be given to this uh, gas pump, slowly leaking out. Abyssalite, Freka, Rubber Band Rambo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Little thing I love about this game is that you can have metals in a gas state, at least in vanilla. Interesting. Somebody's got a skill. Benwu. Uh, max construction. We can't do that right now. Um, I can't actually... I can't actually get you any, any more skills, really, until you get more morale. Why is your morale this low? Vitals. Morale. Benwu, four out of three. Well, yeah, four, in other words. So why is your morale this low? Everyone else is at at least five? Oh, you're at five now. Wait, how did you just get to five? You asked if there was a reason not to cut through Abyssalite. It acts as a really good insulation in natural state as well as tile. So it's good to keep as much of it in place around the hotspots until you're ready for it. I see. Where is the Abyssalite? Oh, this stuff. Yeah, we're heading towards the cold biome, though. They went 30, uh, speed... Okay, what? Uh, let me check how we got... Morale where it is. K 
Can I see some kind of stress? That's just morale. I mean, that's affected by morale. Where do I find out what... Where do I find a summary for Ben Wu's morale? Um... New friend. Minus stress. Bed rest. Contact with slime lung germs. Uh-oh. Exhaling two grams of CO2 per second. Wait, what? Inhaling 100 grams of oxygen, exhaling two grams of CO2. What are you doing with the other 98 grams? Properties? Morale? Oh, here it is. Washroom duplicant. Duplicant? Plus one. Barracks, two shift rake. Oh, we can, uh. We can probably start giving them more downtime. Puts it, just one more puts it all the way to plus two. That helps. Oh, wow. It's linear all the way up to plus four. Well, that's way better than I was expecting. Uh... Hmm. Well, for now, I think we'll go for three. Until we have more of a... Until we have a labor surplus. If you were born 10 years ago today, how old would you be? 14, no wait, 12? What? How does the decor look in this area? Uh, surprisingly good. Okay. That works. How many tiles does this take? Just two. Fantastic. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Um, could, could you perhaps... Uh, build this here, post haste. Let the chaos begin? <laughs> no, let the chaos end. No, Veldak, now is not the time to, an to analyze the water geyser. Wait, were you not doing it because it was underwater before? That's never stopped them before. Rip Veltak? Nah, he'll be fine. Probably. Suffocating. Veldak. Uh-oh. Wait, you have a way out, don't you? You're kidding. You can't jump onto this ladder? Is that why you just came up here? Are you kidding me? Uh. Okay. Um, there's no way to have a ladder here, which means we can do a sideways airlock, right? Well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to bring this further out and then have a ladder here. So that we can have an airlock that's above the water. But for now, um...
for now we need to get you out of there. That works. Okay. Please, please leave right now instead of standing there. Yeah, now you're burning. I, okay. Okay. Stop this here. Do we want to use any of these? Airflow tile, insulated tile, probably. What is this made of? Uh, we can actually make it out of sandstone? It's just twice as expensive and probably takes longer to build. Low thermal conductivity, blah blah blah. Uh, as I recall, the different materials have different, um, different values that are relevant as well. Overheat temperature, slow heating, overheat temperature, thermal, thermally reactive. Abyssalite? Do we have that? We don't have that. Um... I think we should make some insulated tiles, though. I can build them as basic tiles first and then block swap them, right? Or... no. Let's see. Yeah, 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 we can block swap them. So we can get this... we can get the shape of this done first. I kind of want it to be symmetrical. Um, I can let a little bit of water down. No, it's going to bring heat with it. Yeah, I don't want to let any, wa any more water down this way. So we need to do this one step at a time. So ultimately I want ladder here. Um, ladder here, door here, so wall here, ladder here, a warm base is a good base? No! <laughs> Why is seven of them running to build one thing? Oh, you... you absolute buffoon. Are you serious? Okay. Alright. Now get down. Build this. From below, please. One job, I reckon. Are they going to repeat it? Is this guy going to climb up there again? Okay, it's supplied from below. And then... Don't stop to clap right now. Don't you dare climb in there. No. Why are you like this? Okay, what if... Uh, how do I prevent them from going in there? Manually move him away? Can I give him a straight order? I can. <gasps> that worked. Okay, thank god. Wow. All right, we only had we only added uh, twenty thousand megajoules of heat to our base with that with those shenanigans. Christov game, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so once this ladder's done, we'll tear this one down, replace it.
Aber jetzt morgens. This goes here. Leave that as it is. Not gonna need this. Uh, Veldak, thank you very much for the gifted subs. And the other 38 as well. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Nice. Oh, fixing it? Yeah. I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised how well that worked. Thanks for the tip, by the way. Uh, rubber band Rambo. Do you have the DLC? No, I don't. Thanks again, Velda. Much appreciated. Glad you like it, rubber band. Okay, um, is everything here functional? How's our oxygen? That's better. That's a lot better. Could probably stand to... Uh, I'll give it some time and see how our oxygen looks in a bit. Are we ever going to get another arbitrary seed? So that we can expand this out here? What have we got? Blueprint. Uh, I want a hauler. Uh, tidying? Kind of. Yeah. Operating and tidying. I can live with that. A small bladder doesn't bother me very much. Care package wart seed. What is a wheeze wart? And a vol egg. Eat the regolith collected on terrestrial surfaces. Okay. Uh, I tried to alt tab. Whoops. Vol. Shove vol. Okay. Um. The shove vole is a unique creature that possesses full, two fully developed sets of lungs, allowing it to hold its breath during the long periods it spends underground. Drill-shaped keratin structures circling the vole's body aids its ability to drill at high speeds through most natural materials. And... what? Why would we want a pet vole, though? Oh, it eats iron? Get out of here. What is this? 4,800 kilograms per cycle becomes 2,400 per cycle. Is it like pooping it out or what? don't understand what we're looking at here. Uh, what was the other thing? What seed? Oh, weasel what? There we go. It's an ice plant. Best known for its ability to alter the temperature of its surrounding environment, directly absorbing heat to maintain its bodily processes. Deceptive in appearance. It's an animal, not a plant. No chloroplasts for vacuoles or cell walls. Incapable of photosynthesis. So what does it need? Temperature range is actually huge. Supply of gas, as in any gas? 
and phosphorite. Uh, how much phosphorite do we have? Uh, almost two tons. Is that a lot? Do we need it for other things? Oh, that's how you add it to this. Okay. Four kilograms per cycle. So... Uh, let's see, 200, so like 500 cycles worth, if that's the only thing we were using it on. Is what we've got. Full hail pre-nerfed weasel wart. You can get more phosphorite. I imagine so. Um, we can also get it from up here, right? I think we're going to find some... Don't know if it's going to be as simple to domesticate it. But do we really just plant this somewhere in the base and it just eats heat? Is it that easy? I mean, we have to keep feeding it, though. And we're never going to be harvesting it, so it's not going to produce another seed or anything. What are our other options? I don't know if I want the voles. Uh, we've got an operator hauler at Tidier. Decorating, farming, researching. This one's all over the place. I think we will get the wart seed. Bit overpowered in some earlier versions. I have updated the game. I mean, it's on. I've got it on Steam, so I almost can't not updated. Alright, so where are we going to plant this? Um, it doesn't care what gas it has. I wish it would show the requirements looking at the seed. It was just the temperature range and like phosphorite and some gas, right? Growth halted body temperature. Well, I think I know where we're planting it. Let's uproot this one. And... We're going to plant our wart seed. They'll run around your base eating all your stuff if you don't contain them? Uh-oh. That's even worse than expected. Uh, I, I haven't clicked on the colony summary for a while. What's this? Royal flush. Cute. So, yeah, we have no more outhouses. We've got toilets, though. Then we... Uh, I can actually make you a proper builder now. Ari. Even better at digging. I don't think we need more than one or two doctors. You can do that after you've learned to dig, anyway. Alright, so where's our... Growth halted fertilization. It's looking for phosphorite. Uh, which we do have. Here it comes. And... There it goes, sucking away the heat. What was the bunk for? It only needs to be in a room with any gases, but it doesn't consume the gas. Oh, interesting. So it just has to not be in vacuum. I don't really have a way to regulate this thing other than digging it up if it somehow got to the point where everything was too cold. Um, temperature are we at here? 33 degrees. It's almost cool enough for this mealwood uh, to grow. Almost. 
So if we get enough of these, I could pump... I could pump fluid and or gas in and out of the room and pump it around the place to regulate temperature. We should probably... Probably sweep that up. It's going to end up down here, which is going to raise the temperature of this area, which is pr probably not that big of a deal. Careful with the radiation. Um... Doesn't look like it is extant without the DLC. Okay. I think by the sound of it, I would like to do a playthrough. Even if I do get the DLC, I would like to do a playthrough without it. If it's going to make things more complicated from the start. Oh, and I was going to put in some ladders here. Is that going to be enough? Well, I, we're going to find out. Veldek's going to climb in here the moment that it's physically possible. Right choice to start with the base game. Alright, cool. How's that temperature here? Maybe a bit lower already. I'm not noticing. Oh, this should probably be water as well. Did we get this built? We did not. Probably because I didn't mark this part for digging. My bad. Oxygen. Pretty good, actually. Very good, actually. Uh, was that... Were you analyzing this? Oh, you were. I probably... Sh well, no, I had to get Veldak out. I hope I didn't lose progress by cancelling the analysis earlier. No, I don't think it has been... I don't think any more analysis has been done, so it looks like that's fine. Let's maybe not have um, slime lung from here. Can I swap that? I don't think so. It's going to drop polluted water on us. built. And I see gas. Chlorine gas. And what else? Uh, carbon dioxide. Alright, is this going to kill the germs or is it just going to kill us? Only time will tell. And, of course, we're going to end up with Chlorine getting in here as well. Uh, are you okay there? You going to leave? Okay. That's suboptimal, but what can we do? Uh, probably about time we got a doctor's office, actually. So I'm thinking right here, uh, let's see, medicine, triage cot, accelerates health restoration. I think I remember needing a toilet and a sink for some reason. Massage table, 
let's see, rooms. Uh, what have we got? Hospital, massage clinic, massage table, no industrial machinery, max 64, decor item. We can maybe put that back here. Hospital, toilet, mess table, no industrial machinery, and medical equipment. And those are the only kinds of medical room. Okay, what if we put our massage table back here? And leave a bit of room for decor. Furniture. And then... How about... Where did it go? Furniture... Pot plants, like so. Let's check again. Massage clinic. Massage table, decor... And that's it. And then we need... Mess table, toilet, medical equipment. If we're going to have a toilet, we should definitely have a sink. Um, and come to think of it, if we have a build out here, I guess I would just get rid of this door. I prefer central air, or a bit of ways from there. Pipe, a Pipe AC is nice AC. Okay, um, so medicine, triage cut, uh, sink, I could use a regular wash basin, does it, does this remove germs better, or is it just more convenient with the fluid throughput? Not need to be refilled manually or emptied. Uh, minus 120k germs per use. It's actually the same. So since this is gonna not see a lot of throughput, uh, I think it's probably fine if we use just a basic wash... Uh, but I'm not gonna build an outhouse in there. So let's put the lavatory. What the hell? Let's put... What is going on with the graphics? Look at that. Uh, let's put the wash basin, or the lavatory rather, about here. Wash basin here. Uh, and we also need a mess table for some reason. And that's pretty much going to do it. I think. The more normal wash basins do not need water pipe. The sink is better, but need in and out pipe. Yep. Uh, I'm doing the, the modern sink because we're not going to build an outhouse. Alright, seems good. Could maybe move all of these over a tile. Goes there. Sink. Uh, plumbing. Lavatory. And then. I wonder if it counts if we don't actually have these functional.
Dean is getting scalded again, except he hasn't even healed yet. Uh, we're locking this. You can disable it too. Hey, evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The normal wash... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, so this thing's off limits for now. Who's that guy? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now Veldak is getting himself burned. Would someone hurry up and lock this, please? From the other side. Wait, can I just... Can I just disallow... I don't have to physically lock it, I can just say they're not allowed through it. Okay, that seems better. Did someone just steal this as their own personal mess table? They did, because I forgot to build more. How many have we got now? Uh, 13. 4, 5, 6, 7. Our mess hall only has room for 14. How do I unassign this? Oh, there we go. Can I... Can I, like, reserve this for hospital or something? Disable building. There we go. I would go first with the sink, then the rest, because of germs and stuff. Well, I want to see if it'll count as a hospital, even if the plumbing isn't working. Uh, we've got no electricity down here, that's why. How's our heat? Uh, we've got these plants growing again, that's something. This is just below 30 degrees. It'll be a part of the hospital if you build, once you build it. Yeah, kind of figured. We're not researching right now, but there's a lot to do. Uh, we've also finished a lot of research. I also want my researchers examining this just as soon as we can easily heal them. Does this count now? Hospital. It does. Nice. Um, duplicate may not use this cart until their health falls below 70%. How about 80%? I don't want them running around missing health. Oh, I can assign it? I think Bean is lower. So is someone going to come and tend to him? Yes. Yes, they are. Good job, Meek. Bean is actually really low. That's kind of scary. What's the F8 for decor? That's actually pretty good. Alright, well, we may as well get the plumbing working. Um, I need to bring the water all the way over here, though. We need 
need a bridge. Then this one's going to be a bit easier. How healthy has been now? Only 50%. Why did you get up? What are you doing? Where is he going right now? Oh, he's going to the bathroom? Okay, fair enough. You should enable the mess table? Uh, true, thank you. Also, this little pile of dirt in front of it is a bit distracting. Poor Bean. Uh, we need to synthesize some medicine as well. Can we do anything with the crafting station yet? Nope, it's just been sitting here this whole time. Uh, what do we got? It's not in here, is it? Medicine? That's not it either. Uh, what's the name of the station? Medicine. Sick Bay? No, Apothecary. We could also get disease clinic. Let's research that. And a hot tub? Lol. Alright, so where do we find apothecary? It's not under food, surely. I don't see it under medicine. Refinement, ventilation, plumbing, food, power, oxygen, base, utilities? No, definitely not. Stations? Uh, furniture? Getting kind of desperate at this point. Hello? Streaming hot tub soon enough, indeed. Tinoz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where be the apothecary? I did have it researched, right? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, well, there, there's your problem. I also didn't realize the massage table requires electricity. Those hands look kind of, uh, disconcerting, to be honest. At least there's a category for it now, yeah. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Here comes the water. Fantastic. Alright, are we going to need power for the apothecary, or... Is there going to be a generator here just for this? A damsel? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Another new game? Yes, indeed. Uh, don't expect pro tips for Oni from this stream, though. I'm pretty new. Wait, would that copy the locked status? Let's just copy this one. Alright. Bean is all the way up to 60% health now. I've heard this game is super fun, but haven't gotten around to it. It's a little bit, uh... It's a little bit complicated. A little bit... 
how can I put this? You know how in Dwarf Fortress, uh, fun happens? Especially if you're not careful. We, we've had a little bit of fun. Like when we had boiling hot water pour down here by accident. Enos Rage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe you should build first an air-sealed chlorine room with water tanks to clean the water from the germs. Your minions will get sick. I wouldn't recommend to do this. You should build an infinite solid material store. What? I heard it can be kind of brutal. Yeah. Uh, I actually sort of slightly kind of a little bit accidentally... Uh, build one dupe already, just a tiny bit, but no one saw that, so it's fine, it's fine. Construction, fantastic, I think Bubbles probably already has the right priorities. Uh, close enough. And... Morpheus. Uh, plumbing, I think. Yeah. We'll go plumbing and then carrying capacity. Alright, plumber number two. And we can print another dupe now. Right after we watch this lovely animation. Okay. What do we get? Supplying researching. Quick learner. Uh, really good science, actually. Uh, we're not taking a mouth breather. Absolutely not. I would go first with water cleaning. Get there. Uh, what else do we have? A dreklet. Are these like sheep? I think I remember you get a resource off of their backs. And what's a pip? It's pesky, non-hostile critters that subsist on thimble reeds and arbitrary branches. We've got arbitrary branches. They are known to bury seeds in the ground whenever they can find a suitable area with enough space. Interesting. Pips are good for plants. Ooh, a mouth breather, indeed. Pips are so good. Alright. We've also got a narcoleptic here, so that pretty much seals the deal. Alright, what did we just buy, for lack of a better word? Oh, these things. They're adorable. 0.4 units per cycle of arbitrary. And I guess it poops out dirt? And it also eats thimble reed, potentially. Look at those ears. Oh, it's just an egg, though. Uh, do we need to... Is it going to incubate on its own? It's at 0.08% already. Or do we need to put it in an incubator? Wait, what's this set to? Sweep only. Let's not. Careful, because they will unstore your stuff from the storage. Unstore our stuff from the storage? Um, so are you... 2% incubated. Do we not have to do anything? Is it going to hatch on its own? Alright, we got our farm apothecary. And it is, in fact, under medicine. It does require power. I'm a little bit glad, because then we'll have a little generator up here that's not just... Not for nothing. Let's put it that way. Um, so we could put... 
Can we make a special room with an apothecary? I imagine not. Oh, we've got a stable. We got six critters. Nice. Alright, so there's no special room for this. We just plug it in somewhere, it looks like. Um, I might put it here, though. Let's throw it together. What the? Why, why does it do this? Anyway, throw together a generator. Uh, can we make the better batteries? No, we need refined metal. One jumbo battery. Some wire. And... Those are really ugly, so... Let's lighten things up a little bit. Uh, medicine. Apothecary. Careful because they will... Oh yeah. They will take the item out. Okay. Um, I guess we could just close our doors here. I guess we're probably... Bean hasn't quite finished healing. Where's Veldak? Uh, Veldak? Health. Here we go. Veldak is at less health than Bean. I don't want to let anyone up here until everyone's fully healed again. Things are getting done pretty easily now. Uh, that looks like chlorine. That looks like it's leaking out of here way more than I would have expected. Um... Uh... It's actually gonna be a problem. Alright, I think we should just stop this thing. It's not working. And... I don't think it's doing any favors... Trying to kill these germs, either. Someone said we have to put the water in a tank and surround it by chlorine? Is that right? Like, not like this, but... Uh, an actual... Like, liquid reservoir? Is that right? Why does that work? In Osrage? Um... How much does this store? Five tons. And water takes up one ton per tile. Is this actually less space efficient? Yeah, it's two by three, and it only gives us five tons of water. I mean, if we really want to, we could have the reservoir here and also have this area flooded and it would be more water storage. It's gonna be such a pain trying to... Maybe I should just start building another area to deal with this from scratch so that we don't have to deal with the spaghetti while we try to fix it. 
You must build it in a room and pump the chlorine in this room. But you must make a water seal. That the gas will not come out. Is that the little S-bend where the... I, I, I wish it would make more sense. <laughs> like, I, I, I've seen a little S-bend people build with water that that it's, it's used as an airlock. The dupes just crawl through a little gap that's filled with water. For the storing, if you'll make the storing like this, you will need a few a hundred? Or way more storage bins, so I recommend you to an infinite store with an automatic dispenser? Infinite store? Are, are, are we talking about, like, next level speedrun glitch strats just to play the basic game? Using quirks of the game. Doesn't need any power and you should cross the sweep only for it. Uh... Okay. Oh, what are we doing here? Skills. Meep. Uh, advanced medical care. Hell yes. Oh, how ironic! Our best doctor was the one who needed to <laughs> needed to heal here first. Okay. Um, I want this to always be super high priority. Beldak is like hurt, but not hurt enough apparently. No, Veldak is on sixty-eight, and I set this to eighty percent. In fact, if anything, I want them. Okay. Did I have to manually assign that, or will they do it automatically next time when they get hurt? Keeps almost killing Veldak? Veldak keeps almost killing himself, and I have to step in and stop it. That's how that works. Taking a sweet time recovering, though. All right, what do we have here? Vitamin chews. Reduces the chance of germs-based disease. Uh, what does it cost? Coal? We are producing coal, so... That's fine. Um... So I have the option of manually setting a a one-off number of these to make, or I can set it to make them forever, is that right? I don't know why you wouldn't include craft until you have X. Immuno booster, we don't have pinch of, well we have one somehow, pinch of pepper nut. Uh, aren't those in here? Pinch of pepper plant. How do we farm them? If we just harvest the natural ones, we don't have to give them any irrigation or fertilization, right? I could just make this an airlock. Uh... Let them in here. And they can just harvest this passively. What does Immuno Booster do? Reduces the chance. Oh, it's like this, but better. Curative Tablet. Requires water? I didn't see a water inlet for this thing. Very effective against uh, food poisoning. Can take this to cure themselves of germs-based disease. It looks kind of grayed out. How do we... 
Oh, do we have to... Wait, 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 wait. We've got a pitcher pump already. So... We've got a pitcher pump. Waiting for materials. Is someone going to supply it? Even if I don't have this scheduled with water? Allergy medication. Halt an allergic reaction. Prevent further reactions from occurring for a short time. Medical pack. Cure for moderate diseases. Very effective against slime lung. Uh, we need phosphorite and balm lily flower. Oh, is that was that? No. Oh yeah, this is Balm Lily. Okay. So we've got a couple of reasons to bust in here and start uh, harvesting the wild plants. I might have to do the cheesy airlock as opposed to the believable airlock that doesn't work. With the little S bend that with the water that uh, that the dupes have to crawl through. Um. Yeah, we'll make a bunch of vitamin chews first. Yeah, this is the best airlock. Yeah. I mean, to make, to make like a proper airlock, we'd need at least two man, uh, two airlock doors, uh, gas pump to pump, uh, pump gas out, and then we need some kind of cycling logic, or we can just build a silly little S-bend and put some water in it. Gas always comes through. <laughs> Lovely. So we don't have that much room here. Is this going to be enough? To make an airlock? We need two, because those gases are different. So it's going to look like what? Can they crawl through that? I think I've seen it somewhere else, but I don't remember it that well. They can crawl through that. Okay. And then... Like that. But we have to get the water over here. I think the only way to do that is to make a bottle emptier temporarily. Is that right? Why can't I why can't why can I not see what I'm trying to place half the time? That's kind of annoying. If I go plumbing bottle emptier uh, does the same thing. But I can zoom in for okay, this time I can zoom all the way in. What? If I rotate it, did that change something? It did. That's weird. So, unless I remove this door first, some of the water's going to slosh out this way. I guess we're removing the door first. I'm probably wrecking this barracks. What do we unlock here? Hand sanitizer. 
Removes most germs. Requires bleach stone. 70 grams per use. So it's just like a wash basin, but probably better. It looks like it's smaller as well. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. exactly how much water we want here. Liquid water. Or do we just have to keep an eye on it until this is done? I nearly went shift right click, shift left click to do this just now. You must build it in the middle? Well, it's going to fall down this way regardless. Uh, I guess I need to crank the priority on this. Or does the pitcher pump priority have to change? Uh, Quinn, build... Fantastic. Rowan is already the best possible critter rancher. I could have you do farming as well. Uh, or we could also have you become a doctor. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We can have it both ways. I'm not averse to having spared doctors right now. You can do that. And... Doctoring. Always a high priority. You need the lowest tile filled up for water. That is 1,000 kilograms. And then some more. It'll flow down there though, right? Can I send here a pic picture? Uh, I can definitely put it. Do, do you mean link to a picture or? Did we really not get any water here yet? Also, I think our barracks is busted. Yep. At least we're getting those vitamin juice. Don't know, I'm just trying, but I don't know how I can. Uh, I mean... You can post a link here in the next minute. Or you can put it in the Discord. Uh, I think that gave you permit, but it didn't say so. I'll be able to see the link even if it does nuke it. We got the Discord. Okay, no worries. Why are we not getting... This thing doesn't even have a priority. That makes sense, kind of. The bottle emptier has to be set to autofill? Autofill. If enabled, duplicants will deliver bottled liquids to this building directly from pitcher pumps. Uh, okay. There doesn't seem to be an option from the pitcher pump to just produce a bunch of bottles of water. Oh, I, I, I think I can see why they would do that. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. 
Dark Explosive. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Brecker, good to see you again also. Send a picture in the Discord. Alright, cool. Let me have a look. See. Uh, what is that? We've got... What? I don't know what that machine is, for starters. And then it's on top of a airlock. For some reason. But the airlock is, like... In a really weird spot. Is this already an airlock? Is this enough? You have no free bottles of water lying around, yeah. Is this already functional? Oh, I just saw that change, so no. Let's let's get at least two bottles in each of these. What I said before, but without the door, you don't need the door. Uh, okay. I don't understand how it should look like. Uh, okay. I mean, as long as we get the water going down I didn't know you could have this sticking into a tile that's covered, but as long as we get the water coming down here and holding... Uh, as long as the gas can't get through, that's all that matters, right? So if we just give it a little more water, it should be fine. Burlescent. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it one bottle, 200 kilograms, and one tile of water is a thousand? Uh, is one bottle 200? We'll soon find out. Uh, I guess... Can I not see what he's carrying? Apparently not. to function as an airlock. Okay. We can dig up to here at least. happen all that quickly. I guess... Uh, it's not going to make that much difference if we stop using the airlock here, is it? Except the dupes will be able to get in and out faster. Gonna have to clean that air up at some point. Status, scroll down to see what the dupe is carrying. Carried items, 200 kilograms. Perfect, thank you. So yeah, it should take at least five. Probably six or more, I would imagine. For this to settle so that it'll always stop the gas from coming through. What is the machine on top of the water tank? Uh, which one? This thing? The big one. Uh, water seer? Takes in polluted water, outputs water.
Or is it one of these? This is making fertilizer, and all of this is just to deal with um, the natural gas that comes out of it. We have natural gas generator, which consumes the natural gas, but it also spits out polluted water and carbon dioxide. This thing deletes carbon dioxide, uh, and this is to get rid of the polluted water. And we need something to delete the carbon dioxide because this has to be in a sealed room. Um, so that the uh, natural gas doesn't go all over the place. The CF, okay. I don't love that this is the solution. <laughs> to keeping gas where it belongs. Uh, looks like we probably have enough now. As long as we have more than a thousand, it looks like it's going to do this, right? So we can turn that off. It's not. Polluted water plus sand equals water plus polluted dirt. Yes. Uh, so we've got 58 kilograms of water here. Alright. At digging we will go. And... Then we'll need some ladder. Oh, did it get too hot over here? For our poor little bluff flies? Bluff flies? So we have a nice warm massage table, I guess. Um, how's our health? Health is all maxed out. Alright, I'm gonna allow going through the airlock now. Although, it looks like we didn't need the airlock because the water geyser isn't gonna produce more than this until it gets drained away. So, I guess we can just leave that open. Too hot? What's too hot? Oh yeah, for the briars, yes. Uh, alright. Let's rebuild. This one looks like it's good to go as well. We're already at the point where we're getting a significant little hitch at the start of the day. You need more of the minions who get through, take water with them, and shake it off? Doesn't that mean I'll need a constant supply? How do I automate putting it in here but not overfilling it? Uh, let's see, 58, 58, 58.4. I'm not seeing... We got a print. Uh, I want to check on our health, more importantly. Bean is at 54. Okay. So they half die every time they analyze this just a little bit. Your turn, Veldak. And why is this thing not marked as... 
why is it not open? Whatever. It doesn't look like they're getting any closer to dying before they get out. Alright. Do I need to tell them not to come back here? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna close this as soon as Veldak has given up. For now. Thank you for your service, Veldak. Please get some rest. Who's your researcher and analyzer? Uh, Veldak and Bean keep trying to do it. Uh, and then they need to recover for a while. Maybe I should make another hospital up here. That would actually be pretty easy to do. Depends of how often they go through. I have those accidents in my chlorine room. Okay. It seems we've over, always, always got 58.4 kilograms here after they go through. You can set it to only one way, get out. Oh, true. But I don't... I don't know which way that is, and I don't want to get it wrong. Alright, I guess we are... moving this stuff over... And... where's the apothecary gonna go? Uh, I could have fit it in here, so we'll do that. Alright. Wire... Apothecary at the back, I guess? goes here. Or I could just leave the apothecary where it is. And once we get rid of these, we'll have just about enough room for these two. Alright, so did we harvest this stuff? I think we did. Oh, I see bum lily flowers on the ground. Why are we not storing them? And set it to only yes. Little hospital. Uh, yeah, I'm making a second one. You don't have to harvest it, just dig up the tile it is on. Oh, is this the actual plant? Okay, never mind. No, I thought this was the plant. Sweep. Okay, never mind. They just didn't have anything looking for it. We got a pinch of pepper seed. I don't have any upside down farms yet. Doesn't it need hot temperatures? 35 to 85 degrees. Fertilization. Irrigate. Yeah, I think we'll just... Uh, I, I think we'll just use the natural farms for these for now. What's this? Looted dirt. And 
got this down here as well. Needs polluted water. Yeah, yeah. I think because I don't want to. I, I don't want to deal with those needs. We'll just let it run its course over here. Oh, there's a cold biome right here as well. Speaking of which, did we ever get up here? We kind of almost did. We got sleet, wheat, grain. So well adapted to cold environments, it's no longer able to survive at room temperatures. Sleet wheat grain, a chili grain that can be processed into food, requires dirt, water, farm plot. It's actually really easy to farm except for the low temperature. Negative 55 to 5 degrees Celsius. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Awaiting hydrogen fuel. A self-sustaining machine powered by what appears to be refined neutronium. Absorbs and neutralizes heat energy when provided with piped hydrogen. So we can pay hydrogen to delete heat, but I don't think we're moving this anytime soon, or ever. So we have to somehow pump the heat all the way up here. Would you mind if I send you in Discord a YouTube video? Uh, sure, but I'll I'll watch it later. Sleet wheat is great, but to produce it yourself is tricky. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I want to get... What is this? I want to get to exploring. Uh, let's head up this way. And up here. Okay. Oh, I didn't print. We got a bunch of coal. Cooking, cooking, ranching, supplying, decreased husbandry. We can use a... we could use a mule, that's fine. And... Commodities... Tidying, supplying, storing. Fantastic. That's actually good to have at this point. Strange ruins, indeed. Uh, how's our health? They're both still injured. Oh, and are we ready to... Why are you eating food here? Let's get rid of this. Get rid of these. Put a cot here. And a mess table here. He ate vitamin. Piles. Oh, okay. Vitamin pills. Nice. Do I need to assign this or something? Uh, let's disable it for now. I think we need the triage cut to be built before I can assign it to hospital. Oh, 
Oh, and let's get this door back. So that this can be a proper barracks again. Probably a few of our dupes are upset about that. How's our food? 70,000 calories. Fantastic. Oh. Who let the Dreco in? Should we wrangle it? Why not? Let's wrangle it. 14 guys and girls with three toilets? That's cruel. <laughs> oh no. Wait, it's not three toilets, it's like five. If you count the hospitals. Uh, once we actually get these pipes here, that is. And... Bridge. Can we do that? No. I only saw only in German, I mean, language. Uh, well. Here it is in English. What do we have? Four people with skills. Uh, this is our new hauler. Otto... Don't know what to do with you, to be honest. Um, I guess strength and athletics get around faster to do the farming. Athletics is only here, right? There's no low level athletics. So let's start with this. And then... Why did I give this guy improved carrying? Drilling and research. Oh, because we were going to work towards this eventually. That makes sense. Astronomy. And then... Hmm, what do we want to do here? We got carrying, tinkering... Have some athletics, why not? It's actually pretty overdue that I take a break. Uh, why don't we do that? Is there anything I want to make sure I do beforehand? I don't remember Mealwood being here. We didn't get that one critter that... Oh, wait. No, it was the Pip. But it's not grown yet. I was going to say we didn't get that one critter that plants trees randomly, right? Alright, whatever the case, let's jump into some words on stream. Cooking? Uh, what about the cooking? We could probably build a better cooking station. Be careful with the morale? Okay. Alright, uh, I'm going to take a break. Back in a few minutes. In about 30 seconds, we're going to start some words on stream. And uh, good luck and have fun.
One more. One more. Okay, let's continue, shall we? With some oxygen not included. And first thing on the agenda is where were we? We've unlocked some stuff. Hot tub. That is long. Hot tub, more like long tub. Uh, what else we got? Disease clinic we can't make until we have refined metal. Sick bay allows duplicants to administer basic treatments. Must possess bedside manor. Preferred room hospital. Decrease the likelihood of disease spreading. So how is this different from the triage card? Accelerates health restoration, healing of physical injuries. Okay, so it's for healing different things. Um, hmm, we're a bit short on room here. Uh, if I move all this stuff over, or I don't particularly want to put the mess table right next to the toilet, but if I move this stuff over, we've got room for all of it. Not with the apothecary as well, though. Hot tub is weird and difficult to use. Read it carefully. Uh, I don't think we'll be trying to use it just yet. Not until I've got temperature control. Uh, speaking of which, well, it's going to be a minute till we get our expedition up here. Um, so the question now is where am I going to cram the apothecary? I could just make the, uh, the ranch a bit smaller, up to 96 tiles. If they get too cramped, they get unhappy, right? I was gonna say I was thinking of ranching the, uh, Draco that we saw, but I did mark it for ranching, but where is it though? I was going to build another room for it. We could maybe... P 
put one up here. I think it's gonna... Hmm. I can't split this evenly down the middle, but... I was thinking we could just have a couple of rooms uh, ranching up here. And eggs count as critters. Take care, Dark Explosive. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Teo Griver. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could just make some more rooms. How about Apothecary all the way down here? And we can have... Nah, I, I want to put... I, I want to make sure we have a big room um, for the ranching. Wait, how hot is this? Uh, it is... 31 degrees over here? Is that bad? Where's that Draco? Oh, I can click on this one. Uh, properties? It's at 41 degrees already. So, that's probably fine. Alright, let's make this our Draco home. What do we feed the Dracos? Wouldn't be a bad idea to put an oxygen diffuser in here either. Let's just steal this power right here. Oops. Um, lily flower. That's what we've been getting from over here, right? Yeah, so we can feed it. They can't build the pipes? Oh, true. I also want to move this anyway. Let's just delete these. And... Hmm. You know what would be an easy way to deal with this? Just digging over here, actually. And speaking of pipes, we're going to have to get rid of those. Because we're moving all of this over one tile. You should plant the flower where you keep your Dracos. Uh, well, this is pretty close already. We're not going to plant them just yet. We're just taking advantage of these natural ones. They eat the plant. Um, as in the whole thing? Not the harvested flower. Well, how do we supply them with a constant supply? How has this one not killed all of the balm lilies here? How is that sustainable? Let's see. Diet. Pinch of pepper plant, balm lily, mealwood. We can feed them mealwood. That's easy enough. That's very easy, actually. Just a little percentage, not all. I see. Alright, so we're going to do this. And this. And... And then, uh, sick bay. Try 
triage cut. And a... I'll copy it from here. One of these. Fantastic. It's looking a little cramped, but I don't think the dupes care. Also, does sick bay require power? Doesn't look like it. Do we have to assign any jobs to this? Doctor station medical supplies one kilogram. Medical building outside hospital. Okay, well that's gonna that's gonna get resolved shortly. Decor zero. Bum, Lily doesn't need any fertilization, only chlorine. Well, that's a little bit difficult for now. Much easier just to take advantage of this natural um, natural farm here. And we'll feed the Draco's mealwood. We're still gaining calories pretty quickly, actually. Alright, so this is... Treco. Fantastic. I still don't know where that wrangled Draco ended up. Is this just too far away? What do I do about that? Oh, here it is. Uh, I guess it got wrangled and released, or someone gave up. This map is so cool. What about it? So you switched Factorio for this game now? Not quite. Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just in general, how it looks. As in the layout. What have we got? Uh, biome wise. Oh, we've got another cold one over here. Alright. I really need to find a steam vent uh, at some point. Or any kind of vent other than just water. The fact that the water comes out hot, this is probably the least useful geyser we could possibly have. If it came out of steam, we would also get water. Um, of course, we'd have a whole lot more heat that we have to get rid of to take advantage of that, but we would have steam power. We've still got 58.4 kilograms of water in these tiles, so it doesn't look like it's, um, getting displaced. 61.6 kilograms here. I think that's what we had before. Uh, looks like this room is done. Fantastic. Insufficient resources. Oh, okay. I had to mouse over the uh, sick base specifically. All right. Uh, we don't have the critter feeder yet. Can we get that done? All the gas and stuff up there. I don't know how it all works, of course. Yeah, I don't know how it all works either. Just yet. Um, we've got... This is an airlock, believe it or not. This is the best way to make an airlock in this game. Instead of actually using, I don't know, airlocks. Um, instead we have a bit of water separating these gas areas that the dupes just dip through. 
You'll have to heat the steam up with 15 degrees Celsius from a cool steam vent. There's a cool steam vent? That's cool. To work the steam turbine. That poor stuck Draco, we're about to rescue him. Cheesing it already, I like it. I didn't really want to do this. I wanted, like, I, I wanted airlocks that look like airlocks, but they don't work. But the amount of machinery that it would take to make it work is far too much for considering the effort that it takes to run the machines and the space that they take up for that matter. We would need uh, a couple of airlocks. We would need a gas pump and we would need to we would need something to power to get the gas pump. We would need to pump the uh, whatever gas is in there out. We would need some kind of logic. I guess we'd have to detect gas um, to make sure that's empty before we let the dupes through. Or, or we can have a couple of tiles of water. That's unfortunate, yeah. It's actually how you need to do it, yeah. It's, it's, it's a little silly, I think. But what can you do? Um, why is this never built? Unreachable dig? How is this unreachable? What, what was that sound? Uh. That was spooky. I'm scared. What just happened? Did we finish our research? I think we did. Just cancel and build again. It's a bug. Oh. Good to know. Very good to know. Thank you. Uh, what research are we going to do? We're definitely going to want smelting superheated forging. As if this wasn't superheated enough. I remember what this was like. Produces molten glass from raw sand. Oh, and we've got fire pole. That's actually really obtainable. Let's just do this so that we get all of that done with fewer actions. Uh, Marie has a skill point. Uh... Sundpur, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ambient sound of a biome you aren't in during the night. Is that what that was? Okay. Uh, Marie. We're creeping towards... Wait, why did I get this as well? I can't remember what my plan was for Marie. We've got tons of athletics... A bit of strength. And a bit of machinery. We could do more machine. Oh, this does plus two construction. So someone has to have demolition and also mechatronics engineering to be the best boss uh, best possible builder. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, you're already a bit good at machinery. Why don't we keep going with that? When you're zoomed in and move around the map, you can still hear audible stuff even if you can't see it. Okay. Alright, so this doesn't say unreachable. It does say unbreathable. I hope I didn't just misread that before. Unreachable build. No, those are the exact words I remember this saying. Okay. Wrangle. Wait, wait, wait. We want... 
What is it called again? Mealwood. Mealwood. Wait, what? We gotta filter it by the type of creature, I guess. Drek. Draco. Why isn't it here? Element filter? How did this work up here? We go hatch, and then we go sandstone, for example. So, where is the Draco? Can we not wrangle it? What? Eat from the plant? But it eats mealwood. I was going to feed it mealwood. Oh, does that include... Oh... So we have to plant some mealwood in here? They eat just plants. Okay. Um, I think we probably have more than a few. Uh, is it going to grow here? 29 degrees. Uh, anything less than 30 is okay. So it's not going to grow here, it will grow here. They eat mealworm... Mealworm, not the worm? Wait, what? They eat mealworm. Mealwood. Okay. So we're just going to have to grow some plants in here. I could move this over this way so that we can fit a bunch of them in here. We can already fit them almost everywhere. Let's do it like this. And like that, I guess. We could probably move the oxygen diffuser. Mealwood is just how I joke about them. What? This can go here. This can go here. This can go here. And this can go here. And we already set this to Draco, didn't we? And we've only got 225 mealwood seeds, but I think we'll be okay. What are we even going to do with all of those seeds? Can we, like, eat them or something? Halted fertilization. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen. Alright, cool. And... Wrangle. Wrangle, I say. It looks upset. Why is no one picking it up? Uh, oh my god. Just toss it unceremoniously into a sack. Sure, why not? Uh, wildness is... Oh, it's being groomed right now. That's cute. He looks like he's enjoying that. Alright, so how wild are you? Just enjoying life, you know? Happiness plus 5, wildness minus 55% per cycle. Plus 5% per cycle passively. Cool. You can compost and eat the dirt? 
We'll feed the fish. Isn't this isn't the only one with this mechanic? Uh, is that with the tree? Yeah, I think I saw um, the pip. Uh, pip, I say. I think it said it eats branches. Relies primarily on bark and wood for its survival. Uh, diet, arbitrary, and thimble reed. So presumably this one eats it directly. Uh, if it's allowed to roam free, it'll be able to eat this without any intervention. Like five minutes ago, you asked what you can do with the seeds. Oh yeah, you can compost and eat the dirt, but what about the seeds? Oh, you can compost the seeds, okay. Uh, how, can I do this? Can I like mass compost a bunch of them, or do I have to click on them individually? Surely not. Can I automate? Uh-oh. Uh, Bubbles? Are you asleep? On a ladder? In... You Muppets. Okay, um... Top priority. Why are you asleep? Oh no. Okay. Get going. That's more like it. Move to? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can do that. Make a storage, we'll stack them. Okay. This one's empty, let's just use that. So we're gonna say... Can I search for it? I don't think so. Critter egg. Industrial. Miscellaneous. Seed. Here we go. Uh, mealwood seed? Can I high priority this? Oh, yeah. Does that mean they'll take mealwood seeds from elsewhere to bring it here? I would imagine no. Oh, we're still on... Uh, okay. You Muppet. Yes, absolutely. Then you can mass compost, but you can't automate it. Okay. Um, I thought I set all of these storage bins to contain everything. And yet, the mealwood seeds haven't been put away. But now that I do this, they are. Even though the only difference is that this one's specific. I don't... I don't know why they weren't picking up the mealwood seeds before. But I'm glad they're all in one place now. So can we actually, like... Is the... Uh, I can't... Oh! I just dumped them all when I did that. Compost? Is this just one of many that I just marked for compost? Can I... I don't see a way that I can drag... to select all to compost here. They'll even organize the storage if you have one high priority. But it's a task with low priority. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. What just happened? There was a sound. Fire pole, temp shift plate. Temp shift plate? 
What is a temp shift plate? Gem sensor. Gem sensor. Temp shift plate. Accelerates or buffers heat dispersal based on the construction material. Slow heating. Thermally reactive. I'm guessing thermally reactive means conductive. What's this? Dirt? Okay. Uh, what else? Fire pole. Um, I guess... Since I already put these plants on the left, we'll put the fire pole on the right. That's kind of in the way, but it doesn't matter much. And down here as well. Down here as well. Uh, and what else? Gem sensor again. Priority 9 is super high. You just ask them to do a very important task compared to the other. Indeed. Oh, we haven't researched this yet. Okay, cool. We will eventually get to the ice biome properly. What was that sound? What did we just accomplish? Is this going to grow fast enough for the Draco to survive and be happy? Health is fine. Wildness is dropping. Uh, how fed is it? Ooh. That is a sound that cannot be mistaken. What do we get? A slickster lava. A goopy little slickster lava. One day it will grow into an adult slickster. Slickster. Domesticatable. Uh, domesticable, I should say. Carbon dioxide becomes oil. Carbon dioxide becomes oil. Uh, cool. Diet Oxygen, Long Hair Slickster. Long Hair Slickster doesn't seem to do anything. Molten Slickster, Oil, uh, Carbon Dioxide becomes Petroleum. One domestic plant is enough for one Draco. Oh, cool. Um, well, we obviously want this, but I immediately have to deal with it accumulating oil somewhere. Uh, what's its temperature range like? 50? Oh, it has to be hot. has to be really hot. 35 degrees minimum, comfortable from 50. Uh, we've barely got 32 down here. Hmm. I don't think we're ready for a slickster. It's kind of hot over here, but not quite enough.
You want the temp to be over 60. It will be lower. Keep scrolling and check the mutation. Uh, if it'll be lower. Oh, I see. Ideal temperatures, 50 to 140. 10 to 70 gives us a long hair, which just consumes oxygen and nothing good happens. Uh, really hot gives us petroleum. Okay, so we really can't take this right now. Uh, which means that we have to take a dupe even if we don't want one. That's not great. Long hair breathe like five dupes. Oh no. Uh, we got a super farmer and a bit of a digger. Oh, super hard digging. Hmm. It's not that great still. Unconstructive, super duper hard digging. Uh, digging interests. Digging, supplying, suit wearing. That seems fine, actually. Building, cooking, tidying. I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Alright, we're taking a... Reject all? I forgot that was an option. It's fine. This isn't too bad. Um... Okay. Digging no building equals death? Wait, what? We are pretty close to uncovering this thing now. Not that we'll be able to use it yet. It says it's not a plant, but we can uproot it. Speaking of which, how is our temperature down here? Uh, it's in a pretty good range. Cool. Wrangle that Draco. First or later it will get stuck and sooner or later it will get stuck and need to build a ladder to save himself. Okay. Oh, as in that person couldn't build? No, oh, someone else can save him. It, it, it'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen. It's literally impossible. Um, maybe it's time I move the weasel wart over here. We can cool this off and grow these mealwood. Also, I forgot to put nothing, actually, because we don't need the critter feeder. Sure, <laughs> it'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen. Not even once. Alright, how much copper do we have? 5.5 tons. Uh, is that a lot? What's something expensive? Jukebox. 400 kilograms, I think it is, of copper. So we could make like 12 of these with all of our copper. Supercomputer is 400. Everything seems to be 400. Grooming station 200, 400. 
400, 400. Uh, what I'm trying to gauge is, would it really be that bad if I made a little bit of refined metal with the terribly inefficient... Where is the refinement? Uh, with the rock crusher. What, what even, what ratio do we even get with this? Uh, rock crushes, loose nuggets from raw ore. Inefficiently produces refined metal from raw resources. Costs 800 to build in the first place. Um, I'm just going to look at the recipes. Uh, yeah, I think I made a mistake with Ada. Abe, you can do hard digging. Ada, since you like carrying so much, have some athletics. Your base is starting to get warm. Yeah, it's scary. I'm back. Am I still alive? Yeah, I actually forgot to allow dupes back in here. It's either Veldak or... what was it? Uh, Bean is about to come up here and get burned. We've got um, triage cots available for them. Uh, let's just make sure this is assigned to hospital. Fantastic. Is Bean still hurt? Oh, did Bean just get hurt? No. Bean is at 67. Do I have to manually have them healed every time? Is that how it is? No, I would think not, because we've got this slider right here. A duplicate may not use this cut until their health falls below 70%. What was your health at? I think I would rather just... Uh, just have them heal whenever they get hurt. Give the bed priority? Uh, okay. Good point. Scalding. That would be Valdak. Hard at work. Ouch. That seems uncomfortable. And are you going to go heal? Wait, 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 wait. So, priority nine, priority nine. Okay, and what does this do? Nothing until we get something that we don't know how to make yet. But I'll still crank up the priority. This doesn't really matter. Alright, Veldak, what are you going to do? Straight back into the fire? Uh, I admire your dedication, but perhaps you should reconsider. Already chosen my lunch pizza? 
Okay. Are you now going to heal without my oversight? That would appear to be a yes. Okay. I don't like how low on health Veldak got before coming back. It would appear that we can count on them to heal themselves, but it's a little scary, to be honest. Chosen exactly the opposite way, you know. Is Veldak a secret masochist? Let's get corn puree... Oh my goodness. Uh, we got some unknown in here. Let's get that unknown known. We need timeout with bits extension? I don't know. What's this? Water weed. Uh, where's the description? Thrive in salty water and can be harvested for fresh edible lettuce. Nice. Oh! Saltwater geyser. What's the temperature here like? Pretty normal? Okay, not that normal. It's actually... I mean, it is a geyser. This looks scary. Pokey shell. Wild, happy, unreachable, and so on. Never seen one of these before. Uh, so I guess we have salt water available. I'm guessing... I seem to recall salt water being used as... Uh, a medium to store heat. So it's probably got slightly different properties. Freeze point, negative 7.5 degrees. That's good. Specific heat capacity, 4100. And if we compare that to water... Uh, freeze point is just barely below freezing, who'd have thought? Um, specific heat capacity, 4200-ish. And I think I remember people using polluted water. That's sandstone. Polluted water, freeze point negative 20.6 degrees. Yeah, they use polluted water for coolant. Um, because it can go that much colder. Okay. Um, so what else are we doing right now? Skills, hurry, super hard digging, fantastic. Polluted water is the best early coolant. Sigma B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. And thank you for scolding yourself to slightly advanced science. And no doubt head straight back into the... Uh, not the fire or the fry pan. Straight back into the almost boiling water. And you're going to automatically go get healed, right? Right. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? You're going to die. Can't take you anywhere. Gonna get me killed? It wasn't me. Uh, 
at least I can count on them to fully heal once they do come back for healing. Achievement earned. Oxygen not occluded. Okay. Fantastic. I need more weasel wart. Maybe I should steal... Uh, wheeze wart, rather. Maybe I should steal this one. Research complete. Metal refinery. Alright, cool. I know it's not going to work if I just put it here. But I want to compare them. Looks like... This one's slightly smaller. What do we have here? Copper ore to copper. Wait, what? Oh. 50 kilograms. 100 becomes 50. We lose half of it? And half of it turns get in, gets turned into sand. Uh, that's kind of harsh. That's kind of very harsh. We'll see what the ratio is like with the metal refinery. Oh, and submit bioscan. Who's going to make their way up here? I definitely want to steal this weasel ward. I don't like what's happening with our heat. Ratio for refinery is 1 to 1. That's a pretty big difference, to say the least. Let's see. Copper ore to copper. Yeah. It's we, we we could literally lose half of it or lose none of it. Okay. Um the downside of this one is it produces a ton of heat. Not to mention requires a lot of power, if I remember. What's the What does it tell us how much it needs? Significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it. Uh, what? Needs 1.2 kilowatts. Gotta find some cooling and power, yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't tell us how much power this needs, like, right now. Are we missing something? If I give it a... Oh, here we go. Just go to this view. 1200 watts. I really don't want to waste copper, though. Where am I even going to put this where it's okay to generate so much heat as well? What about in the middle of a cold biome? That's actually... There's something in the cold biome somewhere that's generating cold, right? Oh, have we still not opened this? Can I crank the priority? should probably hit up some of the other 
ice biomes. Get some more weasel wood. That'll be a good early solution to heat sinking. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be enough. At the very least, it'll slow the bleeding. This used to be a lot hotter. Uh, what was that sound? I think that was schedule. Not in every cold biome there is the AETN, but you have it. This thing, anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Yeah, we need a ton of, well, I, I imagine we need a lot of hydrogen to run it. There's hydrogen here, but I don't think there's anything producing the hydrogen. Why is no one coming? To the security door. Not a ton, but yes, you need it. You need to produce it. Yeah. This digging got done, but we're still waiting for someone to submit bioscan. Do you have a guy with high priority toggling? Uh, maybe not. What job is toggling? Oh, it's right here. Um, yeah, that should always be a high priority. The moment I hit something to be toggled, I want it done. You're looking a bit sick. Oh, I should make some more. I don't think I rebuilt the apothecary yet. Whoops. Apothecary. Uh, let's just put it here. Picking up the weasel wart. Okay. What do we got? Dirt. Um, let's see. Doctoring, suit wearing, supplying. Well, let's look at the downsides. Decreased husbandry, couldn't care less. Uh, biohazardous and bottomless stomach is terrible. Uh, decreased medicine, decreased agriculture isn't so bad. Pros, decorating, tidying, researching, doctoring, suit wearing, supplying. I don't think we bit, I don't think we need another tube that badly. Okay. Won't someone please think of the security door? Is this you? It is not. Wasn't someone going up here to pick this up just a moment ago? Did they give up? Alright. Could you, could you please pick this up? I can't directly order them to pick it up, right? 
I guess it's going to sit there for a while. Hey, tumbling satellite. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. After bot stupidity, let's see how you manage duplicate stupidity. Don't worry, dupes are way worse. Yeah, I know. I've Apart from having played this a little bit before, I've played way more than my share of colony games as well. Um, Dwarf Fortress, Rimworld, and so on. I, I know how sneaky they can be. Actually, I remember the, uh... For some reason I just thought of the creature from Black and White as well. Although you could actually give it direct orders. But you basically trained it. Uh, for how it was going to behave when you weren't doing that. Uh, what are we... Can you get to here? Yes. Oh, that's right. You were our kind of emergency builder. Okay. And this one... Um... Sure. Be a... Be a doctor as well. Bean. Did I already prioritize that? Yeah, we're good. Doing great Rambo? Oh, I see. DF is probably my most played game of all time. Now it's Factorio, but before I started streaming, I clocked in 1300 hours in Oni a few years back. Nice. I, I feel like something is wrong here. Uh, it doesn't normally take any time, really, for a dupe to come and scan. Can I force move one? Is that going to help? Why is this not connected? Oh, they can't reach that corner. Check the door errands? Door errands. Unreachable. How is it unreachable? What? They've been here. How do you... Change setting toggling. This ruin is somewhat buggy. You can only access it from the left. Uh, why is this abyssalite so hot right here? Opens from the other side, maybe. Apparently. That's the exit. Current state locked. Current state locked. Yeah, there's nothing to hint that that would be the case. Uh, alright. We'll, we'll do it your way. Is there... Carbon dioxide, okay. A lot of air here. 
That is kind of a weird looking machine. The random crystal float. Is this Magitech? You can demolish it. That doesn't seem like a great idea. 10 grams per second of hydrogen. That doesn't seem like a lot. How much hydrogen is in this block? Uh, 1680. So 168 seconds of running this thing. Freeze temperature, negative 170. How much cooling do we get out of 10 grams of hydrogen? I guess we can't really find out just yet. Research complete. Glass forge, bunker tile, bunker door. Don't really care about those yet. Uh, what are these? Conveyor belt sensors. Conveyor shut off. Hmm. We already got renewable energy. Valve miniaturization? Mini gas pump, mini... Li oh, I think I remember researching these. Like, yes, please. I would rather not my gas pumps be two by two. But then it, re it required something I didn't have. What a tease. Robo miner. Interesting. Let's do artificial friends. Why not? Compared to cooling boxes, think they need plastic. Good for cooling the base in the beginning with hydrolyzers. Never used them, they aren't that great. Okay. Undead Hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are inching towards opening this security door. Steam turbines do. Alright. I just tried to press the map key from Factorio. We got skills. And... I don't see why I wouldn't give you... Mechatronics Engineering. Uh, so you're going to have Machinery. Okay. Wait, which dupe was that? Meep. Meep is already pretty well configured. They aren't the best way to use the hydrogen for cooling. It's just an easy early game solution. This is easy? It's it's so far away. Good grief. Alright, we can finally open this, right? Errands. Uh, I think that means someone took it? Or did they all go to sleep? I think they all went to sleep. Toggling. Morpheus, current errand. Fantastic. Let's go. Why is there water there? And what do we get? Doom? That's not Doom. Inspect. I search the computer, storing what useful data I can find in my own memory. My own memory? 
I appear to be a computer. We would like to remind staff not to use the CC all function for intra office issues in the event of disputes or disruptive work behavior within the facility. Please speak to HR. Amazing. What else have we got? An old file. Joshua. Hey, Mr. Krauss. I'm passing around the collection pan. Uh, pan. Want to pitch in a couple of bucks to get a cake for Ellie. I think I'll pass. It's her birthday. Fine, but this is all I have on me. I don't get why you hang out with her. Isn't she kind of, you know, mean? Even the meanest people have a little nice, a little niceness in them somewhere. Good luck finding it. Thanks for the cake, buddy. Uh, cool story. So Ellie equals mean. And what else we got? Three ringed binder inside. I started work at a new company called Gravitas Facility today. I was nervous I wouldn't get the job at first because I was fresh out of high school, uh, fresh out of school. I was so so pushy in the interview, but the director apparently liked my thesis on the physiological thermoregulation of arctic lizards. I'll be working with some brilliant geneticists, bioengineering organisms for space travel in harsh environments. Hmm. It's like a dream come true. I get to work on exciting new research in a place where no one knows me. No, 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 it can't be. Banhi Ansari is here working on space shuttle thrusters in the robotics lab. As soon as she saw me, she called me Bubbles. We have a dupe called Bubbles. And told everyone about the time I accidentally inhaled a bunch of fungal spores during the lab. Blow a big snot. <laughs> Blow a big snot bubble out my nose and then sneezed all over the face. <laughs> Uh, unfortunate. Everyone's calling me Bubbles instead of Doctor at work now. <laughs> Some of them don't even know it's a nickname. But I don't want to correct them and seems rude or anything. Can't believe that story followed me here. Bunny ruins everything. Uh, poor Bubbles. The law, indeed. Need to put some pipe there compared to make tons of generators, steam room, steam turbine, some aqua tuner. Yes, it's easier. Easy uh and go. Amazing. So I need to mark these for rummage. Let's rename the researcher Bubbles. We've already got a Bubbles. Bubbles is here. And Bubbles is a digger and not much else. And a digger they shall stay. Got another ice biome up here. We could maybe look for some more... Is that a wart seed? It is. Let's go get it. Uh... Should I leave room for a little airlock thing? So it's like... Diagonal down, diagonal up. One, two, one, two. Uh, Silverhound, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So it looks like this. No, wait. So something is not right. One, two. 
one, two. And the water would go here. So... Plant's kind of in the way. Should be plenty of room if we do it this way. I don't actually want the dupes traveling that far to harvest some natural plants now that I think about it. So we're just going to keep going up this way. And we'll dig through here. Okay. Womp womp? Indeed. Uh, I'm getting concerned that it's getting so far away it's going to start to be a problem. What do we get? Wait, wait, wait. Hold your horses. Uh, status? Cool vest. Don't sweat it. <laughs> That's it. That's the entire database entry. I didn't... I don't recall telling you to take that away. Decor 30? Nice. Someone can take that away. Snazzy suit, indeed. We had some other suits down here that were like... Negative snazzy. Warm sweater. Decor negative 10. Uh, does that mean the one that is being carried is negative 10 as well? Probably. Let's see the summary. Ghosts of Gravitas. Recover database entry by inspecting facility ruins. Okay. Burt. I forgot that we even had a Burt. All the way. Quinn. Uh. Oh wow, Quinn is actually going to be the perfect builder. Got the love hearts on every skill that is plus construction. That's fantastic. All right, grab this and demolition. Fancy hat. There are three, cold and warm, that are almost completely useless, and the famous great hip snazzy suits. Yeah, I noticed, um, they've had, they haven't complained of being cold, really, at all, coming into the cold biome. Um, they, they, they have, you know, run out of oxygen a little bit, but that's it. They should be buff slash... They should buff slash change them because they're completely pointless. Hmm. What are these plants? Sweet, sweet. Oh, that's right. Let's, uh... Let's allow harvest for those. Take the freebies where we can get them. Why digging up and not down? Uh, because I saw an ice biome up here and I wanted to see if we could find something cool. Uh, no pun intended. Also up here there's another wart seed. So we can get a number three. Let's uproot this. Uh, we can get our third wheeze wart. Guaranteed. Here's number four. Wolframite? What be this? Iron something or other, something or other. A dense metallic element in a solid state. 
Source of tungsten and suitable for building power systems. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, what else have we done? My pens. Read my pens. Oh, okay. Uh, carry on. Wait, did I miss it? How do I bring that screen up again? Oh, we got the sweepy dock. New log entry. I saw this already. Office cake. Okay. Oh, here we go. No, we saw that one already. My pens. Free my pens. I'd like to remind staff not to use the CC all. I saw that already. That's that's got nothing to do with pen. Oh, uh, right. Derp. Okay. And building lights. All right, we finally cleared all those messages. Now then, uh, what seed? Apparently, we have a bomb lily seed lying around somewhere. How? Why is there iron ore here? How did that happen? Or, oh, because this is iron and we dug through some of it. That makes sense. Okay. There's also nothing particularly exciting in the down direction, as far as we can see. Just a bunch of slime. I need to go around it as well. Don't want to go through there. Building priority. Yes, I know. Can I... Oh, what's this? Construction, digging, cleaning, duties. Huh. That's good. Uh, construction. Digging. Nice. How did this water get here? Uh, what? Now I'm really confused. How... How did this water get here? Especially here. I can't think of a single possible. Did the pipes burst? Can that happen? That would be polluted water, not water. This is just water. You're storing ice and it's melting. Oh no. I didn't. Oh no. When I said everything, did that include ice? Um, whoops. Well, on the plus side, it's gonna cool the base a bit when we can... Yeah, we're actually looking pretty good temperature-wise. Um, uh, it's all coming down here anyway. I'm just mixing with this polluted water. <laughs> uh, so, somewhere in this all is water ice and we're storing it somewhere not so not so good 
Let's copy settings from that one. Well, it'll pretty much sort itself out. I'm sure there's some um, uh, actually good use for ice that that lot is not going to be used for. But could be worse. Let's mop up what we can. That would have taken me so long to figure out how that happened. My life won't be complete when I have, oh my goodness. I don't say that that often, do I? I think that's a relatively rare one. Check everyone's health. Looks like we're good. So I will allow these suicidal idiots to analyze the water geyser. Doesn't the analysis just tell us when the geyser is going to go off though? Robo miner. Naturally, it requires refined metal. Uh, Sweepy Dock. Also refined metal. Deploys an automatic, automated Sweepy Bot to sweep up solid debris and liquid spills. Nice. But it needs power anyway, so at this stage that's not really reducing labor by much. What do we have here? Glass Forge? That puts high temperature liquid. Doesn't specify how hot. It'll also tell you how long it will erupt. It'll also tell you how long it'll erupt and how much liquid it ejects per second. Okay. So as long as we're content to leave it here just immersed and not erupting, it doesn't really make a difference, right? I'd still like to know. Bunker door. Blocks liquid and gas flow, maintaining pressure between areas. Maintaining pressure between areas. Oh, just like a... Okay. Kind of a weird wording, but it's like an airlock. Can withstand extremely high pressures and impacts. Same with the bunker tile. Nothing will happen if it stays overpressurized. Okay. What are we researching? Uh, where am I going? Here we go. Research. Ammo? What? The hammer strikes the building to the left when it receives a green signal. Each building has a unique sound when struck by the hammer. The hammer does no damage when it strikes, just to be clear. Automated notifier. Okay. What else we got? Converts water into oxygen and hydrogen. Okay. So because we have a... Because we have a water source, we have an oxygen and hydrogen source. Because we have a hydrogen source, we can cool... Uh, I would imagine this Magitech machine right here uh, will be able to cool things more than... Uh, Insulated gas pipe. 
So it doesn't... We don't pump coolant into it or anything. But yeah, I would imagine we can use this hot water. Uh, we can turn the water into oxygen and hydrogen. We can use the hydrogen to run this thing. And we can cool the place more than this thing gives us heat. Maybe? What's our vitals on... Okay. Beldak didn't die, right? Beldak didn't die. Not yet. Okay, cool. You can make some contraptions with hydrogen generator and electrolyzer. Indeed. Build them a small room and let them overpressurize. Is there a way to cap geysers once they're exposed? Uh, well, this one has capped itself because if it's immersed in water, it doesn't spit out anymore, it looks like. Um, but normally, from what I've seen, you just sort of have to keep them in, in, in a secure room somewhere. Alright, so what is... Seekman Bean gonna do? Uh, go straight back into the fire, of course. Beldak didn't die, indeed. So now you're gonna go and heal, right? Right. What is this? Old amalgam. Might want to grab some of that. Uh, where are you going? How do I look at errands? Oh, here we go. Mop. Cook supply. Store bristle berry. Do you not think it might be a higher priority for you to heal yourself? Okay. I see how it is. Uh, so have, did we start researching? I didn't click it yet. Electrolyzer, rust deoxidizer, converts rust into oxygen and chlorine. I'm sure we're going to get rust as a byproduct somewhere. Ore scrubber kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. Removes salt from brine. Or salt water. Producing water. Uh, cool. So with the desalinator we've got a second uh, water geyser here if that's what we wanted. But I imagine this one is way more than we need. Wait, what? Who's... Oh, there we go. Beldak is not dead. I'm just gonna lock this thing as soon as... As soon as Veldak does one more... Analysis. Actually, while we're at it, is this how this works? Yeah, I think so. Research, research station. Alright. Beldak, get your damaged little pawn butt over here. Fantastic. Uh, it's taking a while to dig up here. Printing time? <laughs> we, can, we can get a bunch of salt water to just fall out of the printer. We can get salt water whenever we want, so not, not really. 
That tank gives me nightmares. Yeah. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we'll get to naming the pawn in just a second. Should we use a decorator? We've got allergies. Decreased germ resistance. Hmm. Decreases bathroom use speed. I don't particularly care about that. But I'm not excited about this. I think we will take the decorator. We'll just have one. And no one else. And when you're not decorating, please do some tidying, supplying, and storing. And possibly some operating. Uh, sheep say meh. Do you have a preference for who we're going to name you after? Oh, name after you, I guess. Who have we got available? We have Abe, the aspiring digger. Just a random one is fine. Okay. Random. Go. That's Morpheus. Random. Go. Marie. Our exosuit user. Uh. Can I. Vitals. Marie. Here we go. Sheep. Say. Fantastic. This thing is not plugged into anything. I mean, it's not supposed to be at this point. I'll just leave that there for now. Probably plug it into something sooner or later. Easier to just leave it available. Another Weezwort. I'll just double check we don't already have one that I'm not using. Uh, actually I don't want to uproot that, it's growing now. This one is not growing, why not? Oh, it's actually that much hotter over here? Huh. Okay. Uproot this one. Oh, I didn't mark this as a ladder. My bad. Okay. Um, as soon as this gets uprooted... Check if we've got another weasel ward already. I don't think we do. I think this is going to be our third up here. In fact, let me crank the priority on these. Apparently... Oh, wait. There we go. This is always the worst hump in the game, I find. The time before you get oil slash plastic up and running. Yeah, this is getting close, kind of, uh, to where I've stopped before. Because trying to figure out... Uh, I didn't have... Um, I don't think I ever had the wheeze warts to solve this problem temporarily before. Um, but suffice to say, my base would just get hotter and hotter until we couldn't make food. 
Uh, and in that time, I couldn't... I, I didn't really find any hints as to how to go about deleting this heat. Uh, insufficient oxygen generation. I think we're okay, actually. These two are fine. I don't care about that for now. Unrefrigerated food? Well, yeah. Um, is this not getting the benefit of the CO2? Let's mop that up. Heat removed is indeed not clear. Optimal oxygen production is also not explained well. Optimal oxygen production. I have no idea what that would even look like. We are still researching. Uh, did you really just do one job and then leave? Alright. Rust deodorizer. Electrolyzer needs 120 watts only. 888 grams of oxygen per second. That is oddly specific. 112 grams a second of hydrogen. That's way more than enough to run our super cooling machine, right? 10 grams of hydrogen per second. Where was it? Plumbing? No. Oxygen. So that's like... Uh, three and a half of these running full speed. No, wait, wait. Three, three and a half of these would be supported by one electrolyzer. Uh, if it was running constantly. A kilogram of water per second is input, and most of that is turned into oxygen. And... Liquid intake pipe, of course. So, I think I would like to... Let's say I put this here. We take water in, we turn it into oxygen and hydrogen. Um, hold on a sec. I need to... S does it not have, like, gas pipe or two for output? We just build one here so we can see what it looks like. I was just thinking we'll have to have a little, little secure room uh, here-ish. Well, depending on where we're going to build it, then we're going to need one of these silly little airlock, water airlock things. Um, but the dupes should never need to go in there once this is built, right? We're going to have an electrolyzer, a gas pump, a gas filter. I guess I didn't build that before. Electrolyzer, gas pump, gas filter, pump the oxygen just out into the world, and pump the hydrogen up here. Except once the hydrogen is backed up, we're not going to get any oxygen out of this.
which is not that big of a deal. Uh, and we're going to use this thing to... Does it just lower the t ambient temperature around here? Is that how that works? Absorbs and neutralizes heat energy when provided with piped hydrogen. It'll lower the ambient temperatures. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking we need to temperature control if we're going to do this. And I would like to run coolant pipes past here. Or not just coolant pipes, I think we need what? This thing? Pulls the liquid pipe through it but outputs heat in its immediate vicinity. Uh, vicinity. That's perfect. There are some builds you can find online. Yeah, I, I don't really see the point uh, if I don't at least mostly figure it out myself as much as I can. This seems like a lot right now for what it's... It's, it, it might be good practice though. So we would need some thermo actuated, uh, thermo aqua tuners. Could we have some like central cooling? Run coolant pipes th all through the place? It seems like it would be difficult to get a target temperature with this. Yes, oxygen generated from water is first complexity hump that the game throws at you. Whatever time water you put in, it will make the oxygen. So the oxygen's going to be hot. Uh, in that case, we should output the oxygen here. And we should probably have a sensor um, we just need refined metals and we can start making these, right? So if we have a temperature sensor for the air we run this thing whenever the temperature is above whatever and we output the oxygen here Aqua tuners produce too much heat that machine will not keep up. The anti entropy machine will not keep up. Jeez. Uh wait, what is an aqua tuner though? We're using Oh wait, you mean this thing? Yeah. Well, I'm more concerned about just sinking the heat that comes out of this hot water now. Radiant pipes shake, uh, sneaking around the temperature thing will cool it down enough for now. Make some starter refined metal with the crusher. I'd like to skip that if I can. I hate the idea of losing half of my metal. Um, but that's why we need to take advantage of this cooling. Uh, where's refinement again? Metal refinery. I could put the metal refinery way up here, but... That in itself seems bad as well. I don't know why it keeps disappearing the... A blueprint outline sometimes. This might actually be pretty sensible. Instead of having to deal with heat that's being generated down here, the dupes just have a bit of a walk to play with uh, the metal refinery. 
All right, I think now is a pretty good time to take a little break. Let's do some words on stream. Putting initial brick in ice biome is fair. Yeah. Uh, let's take a little break and we'll think about that afterwards. I'll be back in a few minutes. Words on stream will begin in about 30 seconds. Good luck and have fun.
Ooh, rip. One more, at least. One more. Fantastic. All right, let's continue with some Oni. And uh, let's try building this thing. So the plan is, hmm, maybe I want to, if I, if I pump the water up this way, and then do everything here, or if I deal with the water here, and then pump the gases up this way, there's going to be heat being radiated out of stuff 
along here regardless. But if I pump the water first, it's only one thing that we have to pump up there. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to expand this little area here to fit this gigantic uh, liquid pump. So we're going to have to... I was going to say, if I do what I'm thinking I'm do uh, of doing, it's going to take slightly longer for the scientists to get in here to analyze this, and they're going to take more damage. So, with that in mind... Um, we'll actually make this the new boundary and they can get down through the ladder like so. Uh, where does our... this thing fit? Um, where's the power for this? Top left. We can't rotate it or anything, right? Can't, like, flip it somehow. Doesn't seem it like we can. Alright, so top right for the pipe, top left for the power. That looks right. And the pipe is gonna go. Let's do it through here so that we don't have to let any water out while we're building this. Actually, let's do it through here so that the dupes don't have to hurt themselves while they are constructing it. And probably here somewhere we'll build this stuff. So that's where our pump is going to be. Uh, we're going to need ladder up like so. Oh wait, that's going to be normal actually. It's still going to be there. And we want to cover the slime so that it doesn't make people sick. May as well just cover all that. Uh, I f have a feeling if we cover that, something bad's going to happen. Okay, well, that much isn't going to change. So then we want our electrolyzer. Oh, did we build this yet? No. I need to see where the ports are and stuff. Can we hurry out up with this one? Doesn't require anything we don't have. Nope. Also, how's our health? Everyone fully healed. Fantastic. Go get yourself scolded again, I guess. And here we are. Power is bottom right, pipe inlet is bottom left. Good to know. So it's going to output two kinds of gas and nothing else, right? Oxygen, hydrogen, heat. 
1.25 thousand DTUs. Let's say we put it here. Uh, we're going to need room for the gas pump, actually. So, gas pump. Something like here. Uh, we need room for a filter. Either or. Probably something like this. Gas pump can go here or here. Actually, can I make this a bit more compact? Yeah, that'll do. So, gas pump goes there. We'll have an airlock here. We won't be opening that again after this is built. And we'll have our electrolyzer here. Input pipe. Is bottom left. Power. Oh, you can actually see it this way. Okay, cool. Uh, power is. How much power is all this? Let's see. Electrolyzer is only 120 watts. Uh, that's the wrong stuff. Gas filter is a, just for the gas filter. It's also 120, and the pump is 240. So that's 480 plus the pump is another 240. 240 times three, uh, 600, 720. It's kind of a lot. We can run... This thing is going to produce more hydrogen than this thing can use. So maybe we can just put in a hydrogen generator as well. Uh, I don't suppose it's going to be self-sufficient. Maybe. I want this as close to this thing as possible, because that's where the heat is going to come out. Hydrogen generator, I imagine, is also going to produce a bunch of heat, right? 4,000 DTUs, as opposed to 1.25 thousand plus nothing. Plus... Nothing? It can be... It's even net positive if you build it correctly. Okay. Um, okay, so since the hydrogen generator produces more heat, we'll put that here. Uh, and it should also make it easier to do our thing with the airlock. How many tiles did we need here? Let's see, we've got the electrolyzer on the left-ish. We've got the... Gas pump. 
Oh, this would be on the other side. I, I want this to be closer to the airlock, though. Gas filter. So we're going to have the hydrogen go through here. Uh, that's its first point of contact. And then through here. And we could probably have a hydrogen tank or several after that. But I want this to be a higher prior this to be the highest priority and then this. How much can this consume? A hundred grams per second hydrogen. And this produces a hundred and twelve. And this thing only uses ten. So that's actually, both of these are able to run at full speed off of the electrolyzer. Um, so yeah. Might want to build it outside of the abyssalite since that insulates from heat from the other bio. Hmm. Well, we're going to be running this thing to delete the heat anyway, right? Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that I really don't have any stats on just how much heat this thing can delete. Hopefully more than the hydrogen generator produces. Uh, gas reservoir. Here we go. Maybe I could... Where should I put this? Like here. How much can this store? 150 kilograms? That doesn't sound like much. Isn't our... Don't we have like a thousand? Uh, hold on. No, that's somehow a thousand kilograms of water in one tile. But oxygen is like uh eighteen hundred grams. So eighteen kilograms. And this can hold how much again? hundred and fifty. That doesn't seem very good. It cools up to eighty eighty thousand. Wow. Two kilograms max, no that's one point eight kilograms. Two kilograms is the max Oh. Wait, did I misread that? That's like yeah, 1.8 kilograms. You're right. So this being 50... Uh, 150, yeah, that's not that bad. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have an airlock here. Um, this is gonna go... Here. Power. We're going to need to give it a little kickstart. Do we even need a battery? Well, regardless, our pipe is gonna go here or what do I undo? I can't undo here over two kilogram your dupes start getting popped eardrums yikes
we'll need a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a little manual generator to get this thing started. But that's no big deal. And we're going to run the water pump off of the same network. Okay, so we got some building to do. And... Gas pipe. Insulated gas pipe? I can actually make that out of sandstone. Uh, does it even matter when we're this close? Probably not. And this right here is where we're going to output our oxygen. Just like that. Oh, uh, we need a bridge. Gas bridge goes here. And uh, extra hydrogen. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's getting scalded? Bean. Okay. Just barely. Just getting started. Move this slightly. Right about here. How do I F7? There we go. Alright, so we'll have a tank of hydrogen or three. Can we just put them on top of each other like that, or are they going to be upset? Alternative option, use radiant gas pipes to cool oxygen down. Wait, what? Then use... and then pipe it all the way into your base. Radiant gas pipes. Carries gas, allowing extreme temperature exchange with the surrounding environment. Oh, it's the opposite of insulin, uh, insulated. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, this is fine for now. I just want to get it working. And we can refine from there. heal before we do that again. We should make more of those, uh, how you say, vitamins. This is only preventative, though. Can I put in a number here? Yeah, there we go. Allergy medication. Curative tablet. Oh, we can make curative tablets. Uh, yes, please. Uh, maybe I should be a bit more tame with the target for the moment. Medical pack? Is that what this needs? Doctor station medical supplies. Uh, what exactly is that? Alleviate slime lung. Fantastic. Um, lily flower and phosphorite. A thousand grams out of... Uh, a lot. Okay. Let's do this. Allergy medication. 
Blossom seed and dirt. Blossom seed? Oh, green from those. I think we've got a lot of blossom seeds. We've got 37. Okay, cool. Um, we'll make like 15 of those. The immuno booster requires pinch of pepper nut. Serum vial requires steel. Okay. Mr. Manbloke, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's going to take a while to get built. We're probably also going to want... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So let's say we build this and then I get... Uh, some kind of temperature sensor. How am I going to tack this on so that we don't... So that we stop if it gets too cold. Um, I could control the flow of gas into here. That would be the easiest way to do it, right? You mean not cross wires? Or what the automation can do? Um, I mean... We're going to run this thing. We're going to take hot water. Uh, we're going to turn it into water and oxygen. I mean hydrogen and oxygen, both of which are going to be quite hot. We're going to take, output the oxygen here, and we're going to put the hydrogen into this uh, hydrogen generator, and also into this thing that makes everything cold. Um, if it's able to be net negative on temperature, then we need, we need a sensor to stop cooling things down if it gets cold enough automation can disable a building can this be disabled Autom uh, I would have thought it would be like Factorio where we have to limit an input or an output um, is it the hammer is that what we're looking for hold on let's see research did I have the hammer already? Strikes the building to the left when it receives, receives a green signal. Makes a sound. Okay, that's just notification. Automation is green slash red signals. Uh, back gam, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... Doesn't the machine itself have to have a signal? Oh, do we have... Yeah, 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 there we go. So this thing doesn't have a input or output port itself. So what we're going to do instead is the Factorio thing where... Why can't I remove that? What? Deconstruct... Oh, it's been built. Uh-oh. Well, I might just have to remove some of that. Cancel and deconstruct is different. Yeah. Uh, so, this right here. Uh, we could keep this pipe if we want to. Actually, I would prefer not to. We want... Gas shut off. Automatically 
turn gas flow on or off. Uh, I need to make refined metal to do that. But I'd like to leave some room for it at least. But I don't know exactly how big it is. It's probably the size and shape of a liquid valve. By the look of it. Just two tiles. Alright. Um, we're gonna deconstruct. That's not gonna... No, we're fine. Now, I think... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think it'll be fine... Actually, no. If we if we build this and then we want to edit it, we're going to end up polluting this area with hydrogen. So I really want to get it right the first time. Uh, so maybe... I don't know how that got there. Uh, maybe it would be good to make just a little bit of refined metal before we start this with the crusher. How much power does it use? 240 watts. That's not too bad. How about... How about we put one here? And I'm glad I didn't remove these earlier. Alright, so the rest of this can stay, I think. It's not going to start itself without me putting a manual generator in. Or I could use like a wood burner or something. That's an awful lot of... That's a ton of heat, though. And carbon dioxide. Um, or we could even use a coal generator. It doesn't really matter. I, I think we'll just use the manual generator to get it started. Um, but I need to make sure that we've finalized this part of the design. So we don't have to go back in there again. I need to wait till that's deconstructed, I think. And I'm guessing this needs a floor to sit on. So we're going to have a valve like, did I mark these for deconstruction? We're going to have a valve, like, here. So once it goes into the generator, uh, then it's going to come out... this way. These things don't connect together like storage tanks that I'm used to. They're actually in series. So I think we're going to go... That's actually... Okay. We're going to go like this. This goes up here, and then that goes up there, this goes this general direction. Um, we're going to have... Can we put a valve, like, behind these tiles here? I imagine not. 
No. Well, we can put it pretty much wherever we like. Um, but I would like to... How do I... How do I select this? This is getting annoying. There we go. Deconstruct. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll have gas pipe that can go down this way for whatever purpose we deem fit. Um, and also a circuit controlled valve that's going to run the ruler. What is that purple thing? This bit? This is just the input for the, uh, what is it called? Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Neon, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've now decided to commence the spaced out DLC playthrough. Have fun. How about a smart battery to control hydrogen generator? Uh, do we need to do that? The purpose of this is to get oxygen. Well, I also want to get water out of this now that I think about it. We can do that pretty easily. We can just take this water and run it past our cooling. So we get water, we get oxygen and hydrogen, uh, we run the hydrogen generator, we already did the math, we found it makes more than enough power to run all of this. Once the hydrogen backs up, it'll all stop, right? Or you're telling me the hydrogen generator will consume indefinitely? Even if there's no need, like a coal generator does, so we need a smart battery to stop it. Uh, if we consume the water faster than it gets produced, then I guess that is a point. I can't build a smart battery just yet, though. 200 kilograms of refined metal. I already feel bad having to do... Uh, even one recipe of not refined uh, of of the rock crusher. Am I missing something, or did you miss mix up your tanks input and output? Uh, let's see. Input, output, bridge. Input, output, output. Yes, actually. Also, if I... Now that I think of it, if I connect both of the inputs like this, can I just connect the outputs to the inputs and it's like one big fat pipe, basically? Is that... Is that okay? You totally can? Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes it a bit easier. Alright. I'll maybe worry about the smart battery a little bit later. Let's get this built. Priority construction. That's not what I meant to do. Priority construction. Fantastic. 
There's a filter above the pump. Filter above the pump? Uh, yes, yes, this right here is how we're going to separate the, uh, the oxygen and hydrogen. So oxygen comes out here, hydrogen goes into the generator, whatever doesn't go into the generator goes into the pipes, uh, into the storage here. And that'll go to feed our nullifier. We're getting close to finishing uh, researching this thing. Priority up. I want to be able to finish this part as well. this. Oh, did we never connect these? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Alright. Nothing to see here. No, nothing to see here. It's fine. You saw nothing. Alright, that is a bit of a construction project. It's going to take a little while. How about this one? It is done. Alright, copper ore to copper. I think we only needed 50 to get our sensor. What was that noise? They got better. Cure a sick duplicate of disease. Fantastic. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Automation. Can I priority this, please? We got skills. We got a few skills. Uh, let's see. Abe is now a proper constructor. Morpheus. I guess carrying capacity? We'll go athletics after that. Probably switch to coal power by now. Uh, okay. Improved carrying. Bedside manor, I suppose. Plus one, plus two, plus two, plus five. I'm sure it doesn't hurt to have extra doctors. Rowan. Uh, Rowan. Operating. Farming. Oh, doctoring is already high priority. Okay, cool. It's fine. Skills. Uh, we got Steve. Nothing but art for you, I guess. And can we actually... Furniture. Sculpting block. Do I, can I move this after I make it, or no? Let's put this here and see what happens. Are you punching that? That is... That seems unprofessional. Cheap say meh. Clean energy quest? Clean, clean energy quest. What? Oh, how's my oxygen? It's actually fine. Research complete. Or scrubber desalinator. Fantastic. 
All right, we've got our precious little refined metal. Uh, let's add a... Where even is it? Or scrubber. Okay, I'm not looking at that right now. Refinement, desalinator, salt from brine, and so on. Uh, here we go. Liquid shutoff. Whoops. Connects to an automation grid to automatically turn liquid flow on or off. It is indeed one by two. So we'll put that here. And then pipe is... This is supposed to be gas, isn't it? Derp. Gas shut off. And then gas pipe. We can do it that way, I guess. Um, and we can just take from like this pipe right here if we want to send this somewhere else. Or maybe start it from like over here if we want this to be like a high priority. Or even... Can we put this like here? Press, shut off, not quite. Don't have to worry too much yet since you'll only be filling it with two grams a second. Uh, we'll get a surplus of two grams a second, yeah. Alright, so let's just confirm. This thing is 50. Okay. Awaiting delivery. Oh, it's an unreachable dig as well. There we go. I think that's everything. It's gonna take a little while to find out. Why? Why do we get this crafting station unlocked two seconds into the game and it still has no recipes? Discover new ingredients or research new tech to unlock some recipes. Alright, what's this? Mechanical surfboard. Uh, advanced caffeination? Sure. Jet suit. Alright, we're researching that. First timer? More or less, pretty much, yes. Vazilov, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's not, that's not mop. Can we mop this up at last? It's too... it's too much, actually. Oh, and I was gonna put our... We don't have another wart seed yet. Okay. We haven't quite got up there yet. Are you liking the game? Yeah, definitely. It's pretty cool. Why are there so many fungal spores on the on the ground here? Seems a bit weird. Oh, what happened to our pip? 
Uh, resources. See all. We've still got a pip egg lying around somewhere. Oh, it's... Uh, someone swept it up. Growth suppress. Okay, that's ungood. Um, let's see. Clothing, combust, critter egg. Stop with the critter eggs, please. Copy settings. We've also got a Dreklet egg just lying around. <laughs> Good to know. Did you watch some tutorials? Uh, no. Maybe Factorio experience? Yeah, probably. I don't know why, but this game feels like where is my water mobile game? Where is my water? What is that? We got printing. Abor Acorn. Wait, is that what makes the Abor tree? Yes. Uh, these dupes would have to be pretty amazing to not take another one of those. I think just before they die, they will breed once. Oh, I see. Um, this one's like, okay. I don't want a narcoleptic. I don't want a shabby dresser. And yeah, this is like pretty boring. I don't know, having multiple interests means better, uh, better morale boosts from skills, right? But even so, I don't want to pass up a acorn. If you look at the animal, there's a reproduction percentage. 75%. At 100%, critters will reach the end of their cycle and lay a new egg. Indeed. Are we almost done here? That really is going to take a minute to build. Did I prioritize this? I did. Oh yeah, let's speed things up again. Oxygen looks very, very good. We're creeping towards another, actually at least two wheeze watts. But depending on how this goes, depending on how much cooling we can get out of the anti-entropy thermonullifier, we might just end up having like central air. Aren't you afraid they might suffocate with the way you're building there? Uh, where? No? I don't think so. Do any of these blocks drop? They run to oxygen when they need it. Yeah, they do. It's only if they get trapped or something. What's producing oxygen in here? If anything. Might be a good idea to get some oxygen closer. Uh, it's not that far away.
Like this purple stuff counts. Hold on, something... Oh, right, here we go. And then we need a... Pump. Right about there. Oh, this isn't accessible, is it? Hopefully not too many of them get scolded. It's actually just Valdak. Fantastic. You know, except for the scolding part. He still hasn't done that analysis. Uh, he and Bean have been working hard at it. It's a big job. <laughs> How can you say he's the worst scientist? Who, 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 who among you would immerse yourself in 73 degrees water in order to analyze a big old what a geyser. I'm a great scientist, I'm just lazy. <laughs> Recognize that part of the base, it's the tank of doom. <laughs> oh no. Um, I want this built, like, yesterday. And then we can close this for the moment. And not worry about Veldak or Bean finishing themselves off. Awaiting delivery, iron ore. Iron? Who said you could use iron? Whatever. Alright, Veldak, get out of there, please. And door is no longer permitted. Fantastic. We've still got... Yeah, no, we have built those wires. Okay, cool. Um, let's get these two healed up yet again. We're creeping towards completion on analyzing the geyser. It's gonna die? Yeah, that's why I'm micromanaging it. I demand hottest... No, that's not how that works. What does it do when you research it? Uh, it shows you when and for how long and how much it's going to output um, whatever it outputs. Salt water for this one, hot water for this one. Okay. Mouth to mouth for oxygen. <laughs> Alright. Lukewarm 73F is just a pansy. It's 73 Celsius. 74 Celsius, actually. Zora Zoldic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The trouble with this is they dig and then build one tile at a time. And then travel all the way back. Uh, I guess the lack of oxygen doesn't help with that. Well, we're going to be pumping oxygen out of here. Soon, TM. Uh, 
uh, we will be needing a manual generator. Oh, wait. Do I want to put the battery... Hold on. I guess the hydrogen generator, since it has an actual input pipe, that's actually, we're not going to have like a problem. Oops. Uh, can we cancel this please? There we go. We're not going to have a problem with gas in here that we can't go into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can definitely add a smart battery to this later without worrying about gas going all over the place. Cannibal tribe? <laughs> oh no. Veldek as a susvid. What is a sus, susvid exactly? Building lacks resources. Uh-oh. That's... That's not what I want to see, actually. Um... Apparently... Apparently we don't have algae. Does this thing produce algae, or does it consume it? Requirements algae. It consumes it. Where do we get algae? There's a bunch of it down here. Uh, but the fact that it is a resource that we are consuming, a little bit concerned by that. Boiled in a bag. Hmm. Wouldn't this be, like, boiled in a pot? I guess we don't strictly need this, uh, floor right here. Whatever. It's gonna take, like, two seconds. Placed in a plastic pouch or a glass jar and cooked in a water bath for longer than usual cooking times. Usually one to seven hours, up to 72 or more hours in some cases at a precisely regulated temperature. Interesting. Uh, I haven't overshot... I have overshot... the copper. There's only 245... 245 kilo left. Let me just double check the scale of how this stuff works. Yeah, we can't make a jumbo battery right now. Alright, uh, we need to be finding copper. And lots of it. There's a bunch of it over here. I dare say we can get away with this. And... Can we just... Dig down here? And then this way? How much is each tile? 344 kilograms. I think you get half of it though, right? Um, we can get this copper over here. We can... Dig through here. Over here. And so on.
I dare say that Hax has not seen those videos. Apparently not. Uh, okay. I didn't realize that this project was going to be that expensive. That it would impact on literally all of our remaining reserves. Pump is taking overheat damage? Oh my... How am I supposed to get the... Mm. Awaiting repair delivery? Iron ore? So it's just gonna... be a constant sink of metal? How am I supposed to get the liquid out of there? Different pumps have different max temp. Max temp, where is it? Overheat, 75, 75, 75. Uh, cool. So I guess maybe refined metal? You could build one of the water pumps, the manual ones. I did think of that. Look at bottom. There's a resource effect. Overheat temperature plus 50. Gold mag. Okay. So what temp are we at? 70 something? 75? And the overheat temp is, I'm guessing, like 75. Yeah. So it's, it's just barely overheating. Alright. Uh, we're deleting this and making it again out of gold amalgam. How much do we have? Gold amalgam. 1,000 kilos. Okay, cool. We've actually got some right here. Um, this needs to be super high priority. I guess we're not going to we're not going to deliver the iron to fix it, but I want to make sure we deconstruct that as soon as possible. Otherwise, it might cost us even more. Could someone please deconstruct this? I'm getting tempted to make it top priority. Doors locked? Oh, good point. Thank you. Suffocating. Oh, come on. You can't jump down this little thing to say to literally save your life. Okay. Two blocks max? Yeah. Alright, so that's our copper. Now we need to build this again. Out of gold amalgam. We also lost a bit of wire here. Hold on. Okay, this doesn't have an overheat temp. Good. And Veldak is burning himself again. It only has a melting point. Once you can make steel, you can do whatever temperature you'd like. Okay. Bell deck. Go have a lie down. Oh, it's already assigned. For once. Personal needs heal. I thought you were going back in for a second there. Don't even think about it. Jeez, how close do you want to cut it? What? What? 
What? What? Where are you going? What? Take medicine, vitamin, choose. What? F Feldak. Go to bed. Getting food, apparently. Go to bed, mister. There we go. I'm forming unions. <laughs> That's not what forming unions means. Okay, uh, this is open. Uh, this needs to be super high priority. Everyone else is healthy. Okay. How much metal does this take? Only 400. Who's... Okay. As soon as you get out of there, we're closing this. You guys can finish that when you're fully healed. I hope you can finish it. Alright, so now we just have to wait for all of this to get built. What have we got? Uh, we got copper. I wonder if it only offers this when we get really low. I am very tempted to take it. Let's see, supplying, ranching... We don't really need more dupes right now. Probably might make things bad. Our food has actually gone down. I definitely don't want more dupes. We can probably just make another farm pretty easily, but still. really good yeah especially now duplicate skills octo uh athletics l deck plumbing i mean it's not quite free We do want to get you to rocket piloting one day. I can't actually... Oh, I can't actually give you a skill right now. Morale's too low. Why is your construction so bad? Well... Oh, is that refined? Hold on. Oh, it is refined copper. Oh, wow, that's way better than I thought. Okay. That's nice. Using venting tiles so that you can sort different gases in different spaces and control temp better? I haven't got there yet. I am sir. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All that unpleasant drowning? Drowning is worth becoming a space pilot. <laughs> is this your training? Um, Beldeck is still healing. Bean is still healing. Okay. Uh, 
I'm ill, yes indeed. Oh, we've got access to one more wart seed. Put that there. And I just realized some of these plants aren't going to grow. Maybe I should put the wart seed here instead. Research complete. What are we researching next? Oh, we're still researching. Okay, cool. Duplicate skills. Uh, let's see. Exosuit training? Seems good. This is taking such a long time to get built, and the scale of it um, got really out of hand compared to what I imagined at first. I could scrounge up some copper by, like, getting rid of the fire poles, for instance. Uh, awaiting delivery copper ore, awaiting delivery sandstone, copper ore, copper ore, copper ore. We really could just not have this fire pole, for example. Try having some storage close to where you are building for basic materials. Um, it's more that we're just waiting on metal this time. And we just acquired a whole bunch of it, sort of. We've got 14 tons of copper ore, apparently. Uh, okay. Are we able to get here? Yes, we are. So... Apparently, at the moment, we've got way more copper than I thought. I think it's more the lack of oxygen than anything else that's making this part slow now. Oh, I could definitely crank up the priority. That might help. Construction. Go. What do we have here? Vertical wind tunnel? Wait, what? Must be connected to a power source to properly function. The area under this building must be left vacant. Increases... Oh, increases duplicate morale. So it's one of those... Crazy rec room things. Espresso machine. 480 watts. Liquid intake pipe of 1000 water per use. Pinch a pepper nut. And it makes 1000 TTUs of heat. Plus four morale, plus one athletics. 
fascinating. Uh, what's this? Transit tube. Needs plastic. Quickly transports tubes from a transit tube access to a tube's end. Only transports duplicates. Decor plus five. Huh. So the opposite of everything else that gets them around. Transit tube access. It looks rather big. 800 kilograms of refined metal. Stops drawing power once fully charged. 960 watts. So does it cost a bunch of power per use? Probably. What have we got here that I haven't spotted? Transit tube crossing. Okay. Through wall... Can go through wall and floor tiles. Uh, it's pretty good. It's accelerating. We are still researching. Yeah, we are. Alright, uh, we need to configure this. Uh, we also need this oxygen bridge right here. So, this one is oxygen. Everything else, which is to say hydrogen, goes out here and straight to the hydrogen generator. And what happened here? Uh, I haven't actually made any automation wire. Do we have to physically make that? Or uh, that would be a yes. Uh, I forgot the part where we need to measure the temperature. Whoops. Hydro sensor, atmo sensor. That's gas pressure. Thermo sensor. Ambient temperature reaches a range. We can just put that here. And... Connect like so. What does the wire cost? Refined metal. Uh, how much exactly? Five kilo for one tile. All right. So I think we've got enough already with that 500 that we received. From the printer. Nice and cool. A little bit of heat coming in here. I could replace it with this. I was hoping I could make uh, insulated tiles out of abyssalite. What can we make out of abyssalite? 
whatever. Let's uh, give this thing a go. Alright, so I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure we're never opening this again. I don't need to lock it, we'll just do that. And we need 10 watts over here. And last but not least, the thermo sensor is probably going to need power, I imagine. I can only see automation connection. It doesn't say it uses any power. Okay. Everyone sleeping. We've actually got exactly as many dupes as beds. I didn't even see that coming. And that one's slightly too warm. That one's... A few of these are too warm, actually. That's unfortunate. What temp does this run at? 35 to 85 degrees. It's slightly too cool. Between 30 and 35 sucks. What's this one? 22 to 37. Alright. Let's make some thimble reed. Uh, what? Oh, I have to hit plant. And then... Mealwood. It's only going to grow here. And here. Here. And here. And quite a lot of places, actually. What about the... Blossom... Seed. 5 to 30. That's basically the same. Alright, so we need something that grows at 30 degrees. Definitely not that. Fungal spore. We've got CO2. Fantastic. Well, this is a very oddly specific uh, shape for our farm. And don't forget one of these. Oh, we're down to 35,000 calories. That's actually pretty scary. Um, we can eat some of the hatches, right? Oh, they say it's cramped as well. I need a... I need something to cook them with, though. I haven't built... What is this? Gas range. Natural gas. We don't really have that. Uh, electric grill. It's only 60 watts. Barbecue. Alright. There's no such thing as... A... Uh, a room for cooking, right? No bonuses for that. Doesn't look like it. Electric grill. Shockingly, only 60 watts. Oh, are we done? Uh, almost. What are we waiting for? Uh, 
unbreathable. Do we have the copper? Or whatever we're building this with? Oh wait, it's only the white part that isn't built yet. Construction errand, construction errand, cons under construction. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got... Uh, fried mushroom? Yes, please. Frost bun. Sleet wheat grain. Three units out of 19. Uh, well, go ahead and make those when you can. And barbecue meat. Um, so I do, do I just mark one of these poor things for attack, or... How much is... How many critters can we have here? Let's see. Max 20. Auto wrangle surplus. I don't want to auto wrangle them. I want to... Make... Hatch steak with them. Elderly? Get out of here. You're pretty old as well. You're also pretty old. Isn't that all of the live ones? And there's our meat. Oh, we gained like 7,000 calories. Was that from the meat dropping? Or was that something else? You can't auto attack. I see. Uh, is this thing ready? I th think it is. I think it's ready. Let's get the manual generator kickstarter. And get this party started. Let's Barbecue, 4,000 calories. Fantastic. No irrigation. Uh... Oh, it needs to be, like, here. Hmm. It's gonna be 600 years before we have another arbitrary, so... Why don't we just... Put these here. Uproot. What temperature range? Up to 37 degrees. Yeah, that's gonna be totally fine. You can drown them. Oh no. We could also do more fungal spores here. Uh, do thimble reeds give us food? I don't think they do, right? Um, I think we should actually just spam fungal spore here. Make sure this is built real quick. 
so I don't have to look at it again. Is no one going to come and build this? Also, do we have the fluid? Yeah, we do. Come to think of it, I guess that didn't have to be a hydroponic farm. It's waiting for copper ore. Uh, we can ignore that for a second. Exosuits require fiber. Okay. Yeah, but I'm more, more worried about food right now. Much more worried about food. has been trending down. Oh, I need to... Hmm, can I set this to 100? And not have to add a battery? And this will actually... What is going on? Awaiting repair delivery, why? Overheat temperature, I don't think that's the problem. Insufficient resources, hydrogen. D don't tell me it gets damaged if it doesn't take input. What the hell? How did it get damaged? Is it still going to work while it's like this? I think we have to add a battery, otherwise they're just not going to run this thing. Probably got fed oxygen instead of hydrogen. It shouldn't have got fed anything. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I should have made this filter for hydrogen and output everything else. Uh, except it hasn't been powered yet. I'm pretty sure. Because there was no battery here. So I don't know how that would have happened. But... We should change it while we have the chance. Um, I'll set this to zero. Actually, that's not even... Not even gonna work yet. I don't... Uh, maybe it did get run. Alright. Disable building. Okay, so this is going to be... Filtered output... Uh, hydrogen? Hydrogen. What's the best way to get this here? Like that. Bridge goes here. That goes there, that goes there. This gets deconstructed. Um, we might have to let people in here.
Okay, I believe this is it. Uh, hydrogen goes here specifically. Everything else comes out here. Something turned to solid? In two... Oh, god damn it. I should have got Bean to turn around. Okay. And we're never opening this door again. I hope. Uh, why do we still have... Oh. Okay. Alright, so... Enable building. Fingers crossed, indeed. High priority... High priority, but only... Only use this if the battery is empty because it should run itself after we start it. And moment of truth. Here comes our water. It's already there. There's our gas. Uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen is coming out this way. Hydrogen? That is hydrogen, right? Yes. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of hydrogen. Okay. And then, battery is charging, but, okay, if, if, if we're only getting 400 watts out of this thing, uh, and then this is 120 to, f this is more than 400 watts alone, and we seem to be gaining battery charge. Uh, we seem to be treading water with battery charge. What the... What? Hydrogen... Th oh. Oh no. 37.3 grams per second? That's not enough. You're joking. I can't believe I didn't check this before. No, I, I looked here. Oxygen, 888 grams. Hydrogen, 112. So why... Uh, is it now working? Is this... Are, are we in a positive feedback loop, or are we running out? I think we're running out. Gas pressure, maybe? Oh, we're up to 3k. 3.8k. 4k. 5k. Why is it so suddenly... Uh... Is, is it is it working now? Like properly? Max gas pressure. Oh. Hmm. 
So we're not draining this room fast enough. How fast is it output? Uh, a thousand per second. How fast does this thing go? Five hundred per second. No. <laughs> We need another gas pump. Oh, the humanity. Pump is the problem. Yes, yes it is. Uh, we have two... We do not have two tiles here. I was going to say, if we use the compact one... Uh, is there a... I thought there was a compact version. Or was that something else? Rip indeed. So I need to... What gases do we have here? I'm hoping there's no... Uh, I don't think there's any hydrogen here. There is a little bit of hydrogen up here. Oh, and it has a tendency to rise compared to oxygen, doesn't it? So that's just going to make it a bit worse initially. Hmm. I think the solution is still going to be... A couple of airflow tiles or mesh tiles, it doesn't really matter which. And we'll put another pump. Here. Um, and the piping should be pretty straightforward from there. Okay. All right. Are we paused? We're paused. So there's a way that you can just use two pumps and one oxalizer and don't need the filter. You need to put the two pumps in the right place. Hmm. I don't want to trust... I, I don't want to trust the gases to separate themselves that much. Because of what you said, that hydrogen rises. Yeah, I don't want to leave it to that. Oh, someone's charging it again. Oh, no. Um. Uh, could you perhaps not just yet? Thank you. So we're probably not going to lose, uh, we're probably not going to have hydrogen leak out when we open this um, in a moment. Probably. And we will also be needing even more power. Hopefully that won't push anything over the edge. 240 watts. What does this produce again? 800. So that's like 500, almost. 480 for the two gas pumps. Uh, that puts us up to 600. 720, 730. How much does this pump? at full speed? It doesn't say? Uh, it doesn't say the max rate that we get for our 120 watts. Wait, no, it's 240 watts. What? Oh, what am I looking at? Here we go. 240 watts. Uh, 10 kilograms a second. How fast are we trying to consume it here? 
one kilogram a second. Okay, so this is only going to consume 24 watts, actually. Once this is saturated, which it is. Okay, I think the hydrogen generator can run everything. You can take advantage from the oxygen is heavier than hydrogen, so you can use hydro sensors. And a futile space between the gas pumps. Yeah. This is fine. What is this sound? Are we... S oh, is this ice melting? Uh... Possibly? It's, it's creeping towards melting. Hmm. Unreachable? Oh. Uh... I sort of, for some reason, thought they would be able to build this through this thing. Whoops. And like so. Don't let me sleep in water tank. Don't worry, you're not even allowed in the water tank right now. In fact, is everyone healed? Yeah. Let's let's open that up. This almost seems like it had to be deliberately designed. It's way too close. Way too just barely possible. We're getting so close to finishing here. Uh, yeah, could you heal please, actually? Already? It seems like you got more burnt than usual. One more little airlock. And how did this happen again? What is this even? Ice. How did... How did a block of ice get here in this corner again? We, we literally already removed this. I honestly couldn't imagine how this got here a second time. Everyone's sleeping. Uh, we're at 39,000 calories. That's... I don't know if we're trending back upward yet. I do actually want to put these here, and these go here. Probably the dust caps are going to push us over the edge again. Yeah, they're resting... They're going here for oxygen and getting burnt even more. No, 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 no. Bad. Come over here, please. And we're closing this. Alright, is this built? Finally. And we never had to open it again. That's definitely what will happen. Water's freezing in the pipes? I 
there's no water in the pipes. Oh, down here? I hope not. Alright, it's on. And... And we're entombed again? Are you kidding me? Why are you like this? Ah, uh, it comes out here at 73 degrees, and it's frozen when it gets up here? Are you serious? I'm gonna need someone to camp up here to get to make sure they keep getting rid of that. Because I think, I suspect once it actually blows, fast enough. Well, no, we know this thing is only going to run at 10% speed the whole time. I guess I have to... I, I think I have to replace this with insulated pipe. I am not using insulated pipe. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Uh, not insulated vent insulated pipe so can i just upgrade it like this what's the difference it just costs four times as much but we can do it with sandstone slow heating overheat temperature thermally reactive thermally reactive so what is this igneous rock slow heating that means slow cooling as well. Right. So, upgrade that, please. Hey, Kevin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Liking for a long time, enjoying your streams. That Factorio SE was a marathon. But good, even though it was... Wait, what did I just miss? That's... We didn't even remove this yet. The whole thing is sputtering anyway. Uh, good, even though it was difficult to follow all the new tech. When you couldn't see at all. Loving the new Oni content. I can't come from the... S I can't come from the start to mid-game. So I'm viewing the VOD as well. Indeed. Uh, this will honestly be my first time breaking through the mid-game. I'm surprised we're not having the water come out when we swap these pipes. That's a small mercy. Why are they not marking this for... Removal? What? I... What? Okay, it is marked for remove. Oh, I see. Um, because the pipe was marked to go here, that counts. Okay. How many games you have there? Oh, how many germs? Yes. All of them, I think. I thought mid-game starts when you get oil. Good grief. Uh... Where are our dupes? Yellow alert. The electrolyzer was not supposed to still be on yellow alert. Now they're all going to sleep. What do we have here? Oh, we didn't pick this yet. Uh, I don't think I want another dupe unless they're amazing, which I'm not seeing. 
We definitely won't, don't want a bottomless stomach. Uh, don't need that. Yeah, they're pretty boring jack of all trades, bottomless stomach. We'll just get these, I guess. And wait until people wake up to get one little job done. Calories seem to be trending back up at least. Someone on their way to do this. Fantastic. Still waiting. Is it you? This better be it. What are you doing? Build insulated liquid pipe. That's the one under there. And we still need to make someone do this. Okay. Could you please... There, finally. No, don't stand in there. We need to empty this as soon as possible. Alright. Is this it? At last? At long, long last? I am seeing moments of mass gas pressure. Oh, we didn't have someone riding the generator yet. We need to get a certain amount of battery charge. Um before this thing's going to be able to run itself, I think. No, don't stop! Uh, why are you like this? Okay. 1,000? 2,000? 2,000... Why are we not getting any hydrogen? Don't tell me it's random. Oh, I don't think I could live with that. Wait, this one isn't doing any... Th oh, are you kidding me? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. There is... Very little oxygen in this pipe right here, as illustrated by the little blue square. And yet, you're telling me... You're telling me this gas pipe is blocked. Okay. Alright. I guess we need to reshape this pipe. Isn't random, you produce exactly 112 of oxygen. Okay, good. But yeah, look at this. There's barely any oxygen in this pipe, and yet apparently this this pump is blocked by this. So I think we have to have both of them approach... We either have to have them both, like, do a little T this way, or approach this from opposite sides. Yes, it's blocked, lol. I mean, no. There's there's only 198, uh, like 189, 114 grams of oxygen in this bit of pipe. Each packet is treated the same way regardless of it. <sighs> okay. 
All right. Um, so we're gonna need to move this pipe. And this is gonna go... There's not a middle tile between these two. If I just do it like this, is that gonna... Is that gonna work? No, I need to get rid of this part. Lovely. So if the top one needs to put hydrogen on the pipe, it can't because oxygen is taking all the slots. Uh, that might be a point. Still, it's not a very granular simulation. Jet suit dock, jet suit checkpoint. Fantastic. Let's let's just tick off something for research. That's gonna require the minimum of my attention. This project is getting more and more complicated, right? Priority, construction, all of it, and all of it. Don't really need that bit of gas pipe. Why is no one coming? Construction errand... Okay. Not again. It was downtime, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. I think you closed it earlier? Oh, true. Alright. So if we do... like this... Is that gonna work? Did they actually get it done? Alright, take 40. Oh my god. I I am I am not going to scream. That would be uncalled for. I would never do that. Okay. And just to be clear, we do have insulated pipe here. Alright. Um, enable. We can probably just leave that since the hydrogen... No, we can't. Is this it? Is this it? I think it might be. I hope so. What's our charge looking like? It's gonna hit zero. And... Oh, the sputtering. 
Hmm. What the? How did it? Oh, right. Alright, why don't we set this to make sure the battery's full, kind of. And then if we let enough battery charge accumulate. I think it might actually be trending upwards, but it needs a certain amount of buffer. Oh, did we get there? Did we get there? Yes, no, now it's empty again. Uh, but the battery charge is quite high. No, 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 yes, yes. No, yes. No, I think the trend is fairly clear. Do you have a small battery? Yes. That's what I do as well. It works so well and so nice to see some of them still work throughout the day and night. The pump needs to be on another line at least using too much power yeah maybe I mean I did the math and it should be able to run itself oh wow whoa whoa now we're getting nothing but hydrogen what 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 Oh, because we emptied this room of oxygen. Okay. Oh, this guy's running. We're kind of throwing off our experiment here. Um, I probably... Where is this going? It just sort of disappears. Oh, it's going around in circles. Oh. Hmm. Okay. That's... <laughs> that's... <laughs> it doesn't work like a Factorio fluid, that's for sure. <laughs> um... <laughs> but yeah, once we got this empty of ox... Ice again... Okay. I can't believe how many problems this build is, is running into. I thought this would be, like, relatively simple. Why is it getting entombed when we've got insulated pipes? 10 kilograms of water at 31.2 degrees. 31 degrees. 30, 30 degrees. But the air temp is negative. Hmm. Maybe I should let this heat in. What if I got rid of this bit of abyssalite? This is 31 degrees right here, and yet this is negative 14? You would think if hot water is coming in here... And then we're outputting it as two different kinds of gas. You'd think this room would be quite warm, but apparently not. Hmm. What if we swap this for insulation? We'll keep all the heat in here. This is already quite well insulated. Hmm. 
I don't think we have to worry about this being cool. Um, I would also like it if our stored hydrogen was actually usable. Um, so apparently, if I'm reading this right, this entire container is basically useless because it would have to be full before before any hydrogen went up this way. Is that right? Also... Oh, I see what's happening here. Can we stop with the... being entombed, please? Actually, maybe I should disable this first. Cakey Bear, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just lurking in and watching the game. No worries. One A direction is set the gas. One A direction is set the gas. Will not start to go the other way. Who's suffocating? Okay. So we obviously need to reshape these pipes somehow. Um, what if we create a loop whereby the stored hydrogen and can go back here. I might need a bridge just to make sure it doesn't go straight into this storage. Does that even matter? If this thing's trying to suck up hydrogen. Let's, let's try it both ways. So we'll do something like this. You know how bridge priority works? That is the solution. Like for most of the problems with pipes. I, I want to see it both ways so I can see the difference. And it comes back. Okay. Oh, and I haven't even got this enabled. Alright, uh, so this has... Oh, it's still entombed. Um, can we not... Unreachable dig. Well, that's, that's why. Um, rip the hydrogen that we had. So now we are going to have to kickstart it again. No, it's night time again. Uh, do we not have a single night owl that'll just do this? Morpheus is our only night owl. And I'm pretty sure Morpheus doesn't build at all. 
This build is more complicated than anything made in Factorio. Uh, not quite. It's only about as annoying as following all of the ratios for a good nuclear plant and then seeing the fluid mechanics just laugh at it. Okay, let's get those insulated tiles built. Hopefully we don't get this uh, entombed in ice. I, I don't know how fluid pipe going straight into this thing ends up giving us ice on the outside of it, but I guess we just have to accept it. They don't need to be night owl or morning person to work all hours of the cycle. It's just those two get a bonus. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Okay. Uh, this time? I gotta kickstart it again. our first little bit of hydrogen. The hydrogen does want to go here first, that's good. Uh, we're still emptying the oxygen so we're not getting power out of it. Once this is actually empty. Then we're seeing a lot more hydrogen coming in. And if this thing can get to maximum, maybe we can get... Oh. Uh, maybe we need a bigger battery to reach self-sufficiency here. Uh, the gas moves through the pipes without any power, but the gas filter is actually a problem there. Oh, okay. We're getting a surplus. It's looping back. Uh, maybe it wasn't a surplus. Even though the math said it should. What? Why? Gas pressure. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How many more disasters are we going to get here? Yeah, well, it's saturated with oxygen. I mean, that's kind of... That might be a good problem to have. Sort of. We can't seem to keep enough... We can't seem to keep enough um, hydrogen in this thing, though. How's the temperature here? Negative eight. That's a lot better than it was before. Top saturated while the base is suffocating. <laughs> It'll come down eventually. Oh my goodness. Um, why? Okay, we still have 16 dupes. It's not that everyone's dead. But why are we not making oxygen? We've run out of algae again. All the more reason we want to get this working. I mean, it is working, but... Uh, the oxygen isn't going to make its way down here overnight. This isn't CO2, you need to take the O2 down there, yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of CO2 here, but that's not as much the issue. Hmm. 
Uh, should we actively pump it down? Probably. Pipe spaghetti all over the place. Just pipe down all the O2. I think we actually should. Okay. Do we need to worry about it freezing? I mean, it's air, it's not ice. So probably not. That's not gonna... We can't just double bridge this, like, the way I want to. Um, let's see, like that. this out of sandstone so it's not like we're gonna run out where is the epicenter of the lack of oxygen let's say here actually why don't we put it nice and close to the beds even just in the bedrooms. Gas vent, gas vent. And furthermore, I can't put it there. Gas vent. As usual, construction uber ass. Wake up, time to not suffocate. Get it done. Why not put it at the bottom? O2 is lighter, so it should naturally float up slowly. Uh, I do want some areas to stay saturated in CO2. For example, we can't... Uh, we can't grow dusk caps without it. It should push the CO2 down as pressure builds, that too. Uh, what is that? Snazzier violet suit? And compare it to our other options. Uh, pretty bland. Building digging. That's actually a great combination. Allergies are not so great. Yeah, whatever. We're taking the snazzy suit. The snazzier suit. 40 decor. That's brilliant, actually. Can I assign it to someone? Or will someone take it themselves? I'll give it a minute and find out. Oh? Wait, is this actually running itself now? Uh, it kind of looks like it, but... I'm not seeing the charge increasing here. Who is suffocating? Stop that. Alright. Get those pipes done. Need to dig and remove the ice. Not again. We insulated this. What the hell? Uh, do I need to add a heater to this or something? Uh, instead of insulating here, I should let this heat through.
Yeah. And that's hydrogen as well. I should just... I should just let this through right here. Um, priority all. Priority construction, that's already high. But you keep dig it without remove the ice. I do remove the ice. That's that's what this is. Is this not getting built? It is. Fantastic. Alright. I need to open this door, I think. There we go. Too many items on this tile. It's positive. The heat is positive. Alright, it should stop freezing there. Need to sweep after you dig, yeah. Oh! It didn't mention that part of it. Let me read this thoroughly. Converts water into oxygen and hydrogen. Becomes idle when the area reaches maximum pressure. Oxygen, 888 grams a second. Hydrogen, 112 grams a second. Heat, overheat temperature. Auto inputs enable disable. Decor. Water goes in one end. Life-sustaining oxygen comes out the other. It does not mention... ...that it vomits out ice. It never mentioned that part. Isn't that interesting? And now this thing is going to fill up. I don't have a tile that lets fluid through, but not gas, surely. How long until the base explodes? Ten minutes. So now we would have to add a pump to get rid of that water that will eventually fill up. Good grief. Alright, we are significantly over time for today. Um, but at least we didn't die. Yet. Uh, we kind of need to fix this, otherwise we do die. Oh, we do have oxygen coming through. Okay, good. Um, let's give that a little save. And see who is streaming oxygen not included today. It doesn't vomit ice. What you are seeing is melting and freezing. Melting and refreezing ice. I'm not sure about that one. Temperature. Very negative. It was positive before. Water, 2.7 degrees. What is going on? Well, we don't have time right now. 
Uh, who is playing Oxygen Not Included? Let's see. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we got some big ones. Actually, no, we don't. Why can't I scroll? What? What? What's wrong with this web page? Oxygen not included. Oh, I see. That's actually everything. Never mind. Nate builds a toilet. What? Struggling to keep everyone breathing. Can relate. Oxygen not included. Coffee. Lander's edition. Alright, this'll do. Slash. Array. Boomer can't even operate a web browser. How dare you. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, say hello to... Feld Cats. Take care, guys. Uh, this is going great. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's let's. <laughs> oh, that's a new trait. Thank you very much, Tyrannosaurus Hex. I'm just. Uh... <laughs>